call the meeting to order at 7.05. Welcome everybody, welcome board. Um, are there any additions or changes to the agenda? Yes, I would like to, we just got this from the listers. It's the errors and omissions certificate that we do every year. Um, it's not on the agenda, but we need to sign this. So, um, we have to sign it today? Well, it has to be filed by the 17th. And if we don't meet on the 16th, then it's late. Mm -hmm. So I would like to ask that we sign this and then the next formally. time, and then formally on the 23rd, if that's when we meet again, um, ratify it. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to sign tonight with formal ratification? We basically are approving tonight and formally ratifying. I guess we can, will we have to leave room to do it. So moved. Rick moves. Mark seconds. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Do you still pass it around? Yep. Any other additions, folks? Okay. So are there warrants that are circulating? Yes, there are. Here they are. Okay. Um, we have um, personnel update first. Yeah, there's not much to update. We haven't received any new applications, and we have not heard from a potential candidate that we interviewed. Okay. Anybody else got any personnel updates? Okay. Um, we have public on comment on the agenda. This is for items the, that are not on the agenda. So or, what, or on the agenda tomorrow night. Uh, for what, so what is on the agenda that's in front of us is we're going to work on the budget. Um, we're going to work on the warning. We will work on the annual report and look again at our timeline. Um, we have, on knowing that that is a very full list of items for us to do tonight, tomorrow night on a continued, in a continued meeting, so on this agenda, we have the Curtis Pond Dam. Um, and tomorrow night we will also talk about any other outstanding items for town meeting and do our usual checking in on what are, what are the other things we need to have on our minds that we may not have got on our lists anywhere. So uh, that being said, are there any items of public comment on topics that are not on this agenda? I, I have a comment. Oh, go not ahead. on go this first. agenda. Mm -hmm. um, OK. Uh, Scott, yeah. if you'd like to join us for a couple minutes. Sure. Who's doing minutes? Uh, Denise. Oh, good. We, good. I, I can give you what I'm about to say. Oh, okay, good. good. That'd be helpful. Yeah. You know, I've known each of you for years, years and years. We've been on uh, committees together a long time. Charlotte was also on the committee with Rick. Um, and I know each of you are dedicated, honest, and Scott, Scott, could you speak louder? People in the audience are having difficulty. Yes. I don't need this. There we go. There you go. I'll start again. I've known each of you for a long time. I, or Charlotte, have served on boards and committees with each of you, each of you, for years. I know each of you are dedicated, honest, hardworking, and smart. I know we're neighbors and on the same side for every important issue, for sure. Um, I know the past few years have been really difficult. And I appreciate your persistence and your willingness to hang in. Thank you for all that you've done. Um, now, my next section is, Sharon, you might think this has to do with the agenda, but uh, with, uh, with an item with a budget, um, but not really, because okay. it's more. Um, I asked the board to increase the salary for the town clerk by $15,000 to reflect the merit of the individual and the market conditions for someone with his knowledge, experience, and education. I ask similar consideration for the assistant town clerk. Jeremy has served Catalyst very well over the past few 18 months, 
He's kept the town office on a fairly even keel during a very difficult time. He stepped up to do many different jobs well outside the statutory requirements. He's given us great elections. He's courteous and helpful to everyone who con contacts him about town business. He's knowledgeable about the town and the office, but he's constantly learning. For what it's worth. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. All of it. Right front. That was pretty clear. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else? <coughs> Madam Chair, I'd like, as a courtesy, to be able to make a public comment simply because, as you know, I've accused myself on the matter relating to the dam, so I have to speak as a member of the public, and I think there's a very good chance that I will not be able to make tomorrow's meeting since it is my first day in the legislature and there is a meeting at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So I'd like to make a very brief public comment on that issue. Okay, would you um, just because you're recusing yourself, just to make that visual. Yes. Would you have yeah. said the public comment table? Right. <laughs> I'm Mark Collins, Is everybody okay? Mark, yeah, you're okay with this? Okay, go ahead. Thank you for the courtesy, I appreciate it. Won't take much of your time. <clears throat> I want to address one specific issue since I know tomorrow there'll be a lot of conversation. I know the board is concerned about the amount of liability insurance, limited to a million bucks. First of all, I apologize if this is my fault. I've known this for two years, ever since I had my first conversation with Fred Satin. Two years ago, I've known it was a million dollars, and it never bothered me. And I want to tell you why it never bothered me. Whenever you're dealing with risk, you rarely have the legitimacy. You rarely have the ability to just say, this is the risk. It's this risk compared to that risk. And so, in my view, here are the risks. If one risk is the town takes the dam, it's a concrete dam with a rebar that's been engineered by a reputable engineering firm. What are the chances that it's going to fail? I don't know, one in 500, something like that? And if it does, and there's litigation, and let's say the litigation is for five million bucks. So there's a four million dollar liability over the million dollars, okay? What are the chances that the town will prevail in that litigation given the design defect rule and all the other rules that protect towns that act in good faith and do design? And what are the chances that somehow a judge would rule that the town is liable and the engineering company, which has its own liability insurance, and the contractor, which has its liability insurance, is not. I would say one in a thousand. That's the risk on one side. What is the risk if the town says, well, we're too worried about this, and so we're not going to take ownership? After 20 years of saying that every solution involved the town taking ownership, well, the dam won't be fixed. So what are the chances then that the dam will fail? I'd say close to 100%. And what if it does, then what happens financially? Well, of course, we know the store goes, and we know the town is damaged. One of our five towns is materially damaged. We know that. Villages. One of our villages is materially damaged. And um, the town will be sued, of course, because the town's always sued. And I think because of the good defenses the town has, the town will probably prevail. However, the town will lose, well, somewhere between 50 and 75 homes will be dramatically reduced in value, and those owner homeowners will be damaged, and they will be pissed, and they will sue. But at any rate, so there will be litigation. There's always litigation. People will be very angry. But most importantly, the town will lose somewhere between 25 and $50 million in assessed value. And the town will either have to cut its budget dramatically, or it will have to raise taxes to compensate for that loss. And that raise in taxes will be far greater than you would ever have to raise taxes to pay $35 million in excess liability. So on the one hand, we have an extremely slim chance 
that the town would ever be in the position of having to ask its citizens to cough up money because of the lack of adequate insurance for a rebuilt dam on the one hand. And on the other hand, you have an almost certain possibility that you will have to go to the citizens of the town for more money to pay for the loss in assessed value. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, are you aware of, so, so just for everybody's benefit, what Mark is referring to is, uh, is that through VLCT passive, which is the normal place that this palette goes for insurance, we can only purchase up to a million dollars of coverage for the uh, the curse pond a for the dam if it were in the town's ownership. Right, and um, and fixed to state standards. Right. right. So right now it's not insurable for right. passive. Even if it were fixed, it's insurable only to a million, which is. You know, the, the point is, um, it, or it raises the question whether that's enough. Is there, are you aware, Mark, of private insurance that's available um, up to five million or, e or even more, depending on what somebody decides is what, you know, full coverage looks like? Right. And that comes yeah, from? Yeah, yes, I am. Only to this extent. One of the thing, the Curtis Pond Association looked, the, the dam working group, she goes, you guys know that well, looked into private insurance. And what we did is we looked at all the other dams we could find and the only dams that have insurance are public insurance. We were unable to locate an insurer who would insure a new dam. So, so, so the answer is, insurers? Yeah, we did the answer is no. no. There is not private we insurance. Were, we were not, not to our knowledge, there is not private insurance available. We called insurers, we talked to... We didn't to, call Lloyds of London. No, we did not. We didn't talk to reinsurers. We didn't. I'm not say, I'm saying I'm, I'm hedging my bets, Sharon, because we, what we did was some work, some calls. One of the things we did early on was contact other towns that own dams. And you know, there is one, Fairly? Is it Fairly? Fairly or West Fairly? Yeah, it's a dam. Three towns got together and rebuilt that dam. And my understanding was, I think it's Fred who told me, they're insured through Sentinel, through passive. Separately, each town? Uh, good question. In other words, do they together have three million? Right. I think it's one. But Fred, I, have, I put in a call to Fred just to ask. Could we ask people in the audience to not be talking when somebody's. I, I put in a call. Yeah, thank to, you. I put in a call to Fred to ask him. And I think it wouldn't be hard to find out because he's the one that turned me on to the other towns. Um, and he would know. Can I ask, ask a question here, too? Because there was also the issue of insurability. I mean, we can insure that when it's in place, correct? I mean, when it's rebuilt to state standards. What is insuring it up between the time? That's exactly the chicken and egg problem that we need to solve. Mm -hmm. and in other words, very briefly, remember, the town can't take it if it's not insured. Right. It shouldn't. Right. So it can't be insured until it's built to state standards. Mm -hmm. To do that, you need the money to pay the contractor to build it. For that, we need the bonds. So the question is, how does the town issue bonds <laughs> for a dam it doesn't own? And what we came up with, and what, rest in peace, Mr. Giuliani said about what clearly were is that the town would receive and put into escrow quick claim deeds from the owners, which it could record at its will or not. And that the and the Joe McLean, when I explained this to him, gosh, a year ago, or no, it could be a year ago, six months ago, Joe said in a conversation, no, I, I think it would be better if it was irrevocable offers of dedication. But in any case, Giuliani's view was once that happened, the town would have sufficient control and dominion over the dam so he unilaterally could take it, that it could legitimately issue bonds. Whether those bonds are taxable or non-taxable, I cannot opine at this moment. We've retained Tom Maloney, uh, 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 who's in one of the six bond council along with Bob, who's... I think we should, in, maybe, yeah, yeah okay. let's, let's we'll, yeah, because we're heading into, this is exactly the, exactly the point of tomorrow, tomorrow night's meeting. Um, so let's, thank you, Mark, and let's...
uh, turn to my paper and turn to our uh, that paper and pen. Could you hand it to me, please? Turn to our regular 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 agenda. Thank you for your courtesy. Thanks, Welcome. I thought the legislature started last week. It did, and I was away. I was planning that Monday. Planned this planned family reunion a year ago before I even thought about that. Tomorrow's my first day. Your first day. Anyway. Well, have a good time. Uh, I may be here. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Mrs. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Hi there. Wendy, uh, you are here to walk us through the final pieces that you dropped into our uh, budget. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, most of what's in there is your work, uh, but there to make to make your accurate. So, um, for example, when um, uh, there were changes to some of the uh, uh, some of the amounts for salaries, so that would have changed the uh, payroll taxes and the and stuff like that. So uh, this afternoon, uh, I worked on that a little bit. Communicated with Denise. The other um, important change that I made today was I have the correct amounts in here for the Vermont League of City Cities and Towns Insurance. Okay. And insurance for unemployment, which is shown in both highway and general, and workers' compensation, both highway and general, and then the rest of the insurance, which is mostly property casualty liability, is in the general fund. So, Wendy, I am going to draft budget as of one five with Wendy's changes. Yeah, I put it in the folder. You did. It's in a different. Um, even though it's even though it's largely the same, it's a different version than we were working on one five because it doesn't it doesn't seem to retain our formulas that I had built in for you know having a quick look at what's the percentage of increase. You guys remember that one? So sure, I, I'm wondering if we should kind of like start at the top. Well, that's what I that's what I would. Hang on. And maybe I'm wrong about that. Wendy, when you were looking at it, did you... Well, there's a formula. Maybe they just... Where are the changes in the copy of January 5th? It's the tab. one... Uh, no, it's... Did you all have a copy of the draft budget as of January 5th, but with my update? Yes, but I'm... This I... afternoon? Yes, yes but Wendy, which tab did you make the changes in? The one under passage, I think. Oh. No, uh, no I didn't. I made them in, um, I should have made them, should be them in January 5th, because passage was one, oh, and according to Denise, that was a version that you sent to a, a taxpayer, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. yeah, we created a PDF so that we could send it out. Right, right. So, okay. so I made the changes, my changes, in... Uh, the copy of January 5th, 2023, one. Okay, okay. so walk us, down, walk us down. Walk us down. I figured that's where you wanted me to do it. Yep, yeah. and I have that open now, and everyone who wants to does as well. Correct. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Wendy. Um, so uh, I, I can just run through. If we start at the top with select board, um, I didn't really make any change here except to say that the copier maintenance agreement and the mileage reimbursement has been moved to general office and I have put the correct amount down there um, and we can see that when we get down there. Um, uh, I recommended based on what you had here before to put $300 <laughs> in for mileage reimbursement. Okay. Which may not even know, but, and you did um, that somewhere else. When I spoke with Denise, she thought that seemed because she spent 339 so far this year. Right, but that was like a one, a one-time big mileage. Yeah, I think it might have been. So, so if you need to change it, we can do that. That's not a problem um, when we get down there. Okay, so keep moving a little further yep. down. Everything looks good down to the point where we have a grant match with a CLD fundraising grant. Yep. That hasn't that line hasn't been budgeted in a very long time, and I didn't know what it was. So I would recommend just deleting that line. Um, and I can do that here if you would like me to, to update it. No, I'll make a note. Um, 
unless, well, actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that because for one thing, I want to duplicate and note um, the January, that we're working on January 9th. Yeah. So I'm going to do that right now. We don't want to over. Oh, okay. But, um, yep. Can you see that? Let me know when you want me to proceed. Yep. I'm in. I'm making a new tab, and I'm going to work in that one so that any changes we make as we go are from tonight are documented from tonight. Okay. So go ahead. So, so Wendy, I'm, I'm going to delete those two lines, and then we'll have the record of the previous of the notes. So what is your new yeah. tab? So the two. Just so I, I know what you're doing. Yep, so now we go from the yeah. delinquent tax collector section to the town Okay, section. now there's no wages in the town treasurer line. That's because we moved them up to um, that treasurer, business manager, okay. town administrator line. Okay, yeah. so... It's up below under select board. We okay. moved it under select board. All right. Yep. We did that a while ago. Um... Okay, Wendy, we're with you on, uh, and those two lines are gone, and, I've, and I'm now working in a new tab so that I will keep records. Okay, keep going. Okay. Um, yeah. The next few sections are highlighted in dark green. Yep. And uh, when I spoke with Denise today, she said those are the sections you were likely to discuss tonight. I didn't make any changes there. I just am acknowledging I think that's what is why they're highlighted. No, what I, or that we were generally what, done with them. Right. What I said was those were changes we had made the last time, and that we and that we were we felt they were generally done. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't touch any of it anyway. Um, the changes I made before January fifth meeting highlighted under general office. That's where we should scroll down to now. Yep. Go down to general office. Okay. We're there. And the changes I made here were because um, a lot of this um, IT support stuff, which includes network and also uh, RV technology, were all kind of lumped together and you really didn't have any transparency on these different um, avenues of expense. Yep. And so I broke it up for you. I actually got the actual numbers for network and uh, RV technologies. I just looked at what we've been spending there uh, on a monthly basis for their support, so that's what's indicated there. Okay, the only thing I put down as a question mark, which is on line 67, is uh, never contract services. That's what you folks are paying for me yeah. right now. Um, even when you hire a treasurer, you may have some training or some other special project that we would work on. I would anticipate you'd always have that line. It may not be as high as what you see um, year to date in fiscal 23. But um, I didn't know if you wanted to project something in there. Um, even though you've got a salary identified for the treasurer, a town administrator, business manager um, role, which I know you hope to fill as soon as possible. Um, and that would compensate uh, if it takes you a few more months to find someone. Right. Uh, but I didn't know if you wanted to add a line, add you know, someone out there. It, it doesn't have to be, but I just put a question mark to just kind of put a marker on it. What, what's our, what, do you know what the amount of our current contract is, Wendy? It's an amount per hour. So the year to date is 28820. That's through the middle of November, but right. then I gave you folks um, the, uh, uh -huh. the year to date um, for um, December, and I can tell you what that number is. Give me a second here, and I will. So I just, I did some math, and I annualized what was there. And then I took 10% of it and came up with 7,600 as a, well, what's your, what's your, in your December number, Wendy? Um, I thought I had it here. Let's see. Yeah, it's 7,600. While you're finding it, let me repeat what I just said. So guys, I took 28,820 and, and divided it by four and a half uh, and multiplied that by 12 and then took 10% because Sharon picked 10%, which is the only reason, mm -hmm. that's the only rationale, uh, and said, 
came up with 76. And what number did you come up with? As 10% of the annualized, I came up with 76.85. And, okay. and I did that as a place to start in what might we want to put in that block box, if anything. So where are we at, Wendy? Did you find it? Um, no, I emailed them to you guys. Hang on, let me look at the yeah, email. I didn't, I didn't bring it. So. Is it? Is it wild? Is does it change wildly from the middle of December, November till the month of December through month of December? And your recollection? Quite a bit more. It was quite a bit more. Yeah, because if we had the December amount, we could like double it. double it. Right. Um, but still, so once we have an annual number, let's just pick, guys. Do we want first question threshold? Do we want to put something in there, even though we have a budget for? Treasurer, business manager, I think administrator. We, I think we would be smart to put something in to support to training. Support to support we're the training. So does ten percent seem to be Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Okay, so Wendy, have you got a number? I don't. Uh, not yet. I, I think I have to just go to uh, my DRA data. What is that? I thought I had saved it. I <laughs> hate it when you have so much on your desktop. Mm -hmm. Yep. You'll find it. Wendy, what, is DR, what does DRA stand for? Disaster Recovery Agreement. Okay. A very important. What that means is you um, it, it automatically updates to our servers um, very frequently. And let's say the town office closed down. You'd be able to start up the very next day yep. based on that agreement because we can pull all the data for talent off of the servers at Nemeric and load it up on a brand new PC that you set up at the town hall. And you have redundancy in your own servers, I take it. Yes, we do. We, um, we back up, um, we have a whole bunch of server capacity at Amazon. What if we put in $8,000 for right now, if on the- For? In, as a, so yes, Wendy said December was a lot more. So instead of 7,600, 8,000. I'm sorry, what line is this? I'm talking about line budget. Well, it's 67. Yes. Well, it's, yeah, no, it's 65 on ours. It's, it's member contract services. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, but, okay. A it seems like a lot to me, you guys. I, I think because you've got that salary covered okay. somewhere else. Um, I, I mean, you know, there would be some training time when you hire somebody. Um, but I would say at this point, I, I mean, I mean, it's anybody's guess, right? I think you'd be have more than more more than sufficient if you put even uh, five thousand in there, and that may even be a lot. You mean for the NEMRIC contract yeah. services? If right. the, yeah, Wendy, if even if that. Hire a transitional training. Right. right. Just yeah, at least starting in July. If, right. if so, so folks, if, if even five is a lot. And we know we're going to have to trim this because we haven't done that yet. Right. So what if I just put three thousand in on Wendy's? Skip that step of trimming back when Wendy's telling okay. us five is a lot. That's good. I don't know. I think five is probably even to even to support somebody that we hire. I mean, I'm, that's fine, but we need to remember that Wendy said that's a lot. If, right. Um, all right. I put in five, and we can and um, <laughs> I'll make a note. Um, Wendy says five is a lot. Okay, so that's the next note. So I broke these up so that you've got some realistic expectations on um, IT support and what all these things cost. The cost contract, I just took the current amount. Now that is the, um, uh, that is the service by which um, people can get, I mean, Sharon, you're an attorney, you know how this works, right? You can get, you know, records online and things like that with cost. So yeah. mileage, which is 179, I moved that down from where it was under the select board section. Mm -hmm. Did you want to change this from 300 to something else? Um, normally, we don't spend a lot on mileage. Right. I would think 300 mm -hmm. is enough. Mm -hmm. well, it's 65 cents or 68 cents a mile now. That's the rate, I think. Yeah, it's gone up a lot. It keeps, yeah, it keeps going up. 
I mean, we could put in 500. 461 miles, it seems like. You might have some trainings, though. You might have, um, you know, as you hire new people. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of the trainings are, a lot of the trainings are online now, too. Some are, yeah. I don't know, whatever you, what do you think is good there? Um, well, like I said, I think the, the mileage that we paid out so far this fiscal year was unusual. Um, we don't know. I think this was related to the person you had on um, yeah. the constable, maybe? Yeah. So, so we've, we have historically budgeted 200, and at least looking at FY22, we used some of that. Um, we used 40% of it. No, 60% of it. So if we put in... What about putting in 350? Oh, you think 300 is not enough? I think 300 is enough. You know, in the scheme of things, 100, 200 dollars is not. This is not worth wasting. Our no, time that's, on. What I, that's what. That's what. It's like, it's like we've never, we've never used the full, full budget except for that one circumstance. Right. If we go, knowing that mileage has gone up, we can put in 250. I don't. Um, I think we leave it at 300. Okay, I'm just recognizing that we're gonna True. have to come back. Three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, we're, we're so that's, that's the 300 permit. And then down below that, the copier lease. Uh, leasing copiers now has become much more cost efficient than what it used to be. Um, it also includes the maintenance because it's a leased machine. So I think the, um, and I think the actual amount of the copier maintenance that you see for fiscal 23 uh, might be part of actually the copier lease. So I really don't think you need the copier maintenance at 645. Yeah, I don't know. So you think 600 is, but there's 117, there's numbers in Yeah, I think it went to the wrong line. But there's numbers in each. Yep, and I think the, I think I would, I, you know, I could be accounts payable. And of course, I had to learn where things go. Yeah. And I have a feeling the um, the copier lease expenses were actually going to the copier maintenance agreement. I think it's one in the same. So in other so words, should we, we should add those together. So should um, we just have it copy? It's really all actually a copier lease. Copier lease. lease. Exactly. Exactly. Just make just make one copier one maintenance. Make one maintenance. One. Copier lease is what I think, I think we happen. need. I think and we should. Two hundred ninety-five dollars should go down to add to the one seventeen on the year to date. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at that, that's like 500 bucks here today, right? Four, yeah. like that. Well, four, four twelve, yeah. forty-five. I just did the math. Yeah. yeah. Can we? Come I actually think those are duplicated. I actually think. Um, hmm. Can we can make? You see, the actual for twenty-two was only four hundred and fifty-one dollars. Okay, so. Um, I add, I made one line, I turned what's in now in our spreadsheet, copy your lease and maintenance agreement on line 80. Can we make it, are we making it one line? That was what Wendy just recommended. Yeah. And yeah. then if we are at 400 so far, then 600 isn't enough. Is 900 enough? 900 is about right, Wendy? Combined. Well, last year you had a budget of 645. Um, I think if you put 900 there, you have plenty, and then we can get rid of one of those ones. But I'm looking at the combined 295, unless they're, mm -hmm. unless yeah. adding 295 and 117 together mm -hmm. is, is 412. And that's yeah. not halfway through the year. That's where I kept right. landed at 900. So, that would be 900 for a year, but I don't even think it's going to be that high. But right, but com okay, so we're going to combine it into one line with a total of 900 dollars, right? That's yeah. what I just did. And then, okay. so I would put 900 in line 83. Okay, I, we can move on. But your, your lines line are line yeah, your lines are different than ours now. Oh. Because I'm working in an, uh, at least the one I'm working in, but I made a line copy your lease and maintenance agreement. I put nine hundred dollars in F mm -hmm. in FY twenty four. Yeah. I think okay. it'll just blank and right. Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Good night, Barbara. Thank you. Okay. So I'll work those for changes as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the technology reserve appropriation had a red mark on it, it was highlighted in red. I, I didn't, I just want to bring it to your attention.
question. I didn't do anything with that. That was one that we were still thinking about. Okay. I think. Right. So there's five. There's five thousand in there now, and you need to uh -huh. transfer the eight in there, so that'll give us a total, different total, right? Yeah, but the transfer is in the current fiscal year, and what I'll be doing there is a bunch of journal entries to move uh, that eight thousand that was funded in fiscal twenty-three to that particular reserve fund. So, okay. yeah. so our no, our note on in column G, guys, says after FY23 budgeted transfer mm -hmm. of eight thousand. That's my note. Yeah, that but final of twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Yep, you'll have so, twenty thousand. So then, if you budget another five thousand this year and pass it, that means it'll have twenty five by the end of this year. Twenty. Right, and, right. And which is a good healthy amount. For us it's healthy have. considering, um, you know, we don't. The whole point of a reserve appropriation is <coughs> to have money there when you need it. Okay, when do you want to keep us moving to something else of yep, interest? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the next changes were under payroll taxes and benefits, and yep. these have all been calculated. I gave. I also sent you a companion Excel spreadsheet that I built so that if there were changes to salaries or where people's salary was, uh, like the DPW director, I moved up to the general fund. So this, this is a reflection of those changes. Uh, this is FICA and Medi for the um, DPW director, the uh, treasurer, business manager, town administrator, clerk, clerk, assistant clerk. Okay. So with those, and also the FICA Medi is for all those little part-timer folks that you have. The stipend, like, the stipend folks? Yeah, the stipends, the, the webmaster, the, the um, former clerk who cleans the town hall, all that together. Um, and you can see that on that companion spreadsheet that I built. The okay. Beamers retirement, same thing, but that's only for those who are Beamers covered. And I anticipate that two new people would be Beamers covered. Mm -hmm. Health insurance reflects um, a family coverage because that would be the maximum for the two new people that you may hire, the um, director and the um, treasurer or business manager, assuming they might want family plans. There was an 11.6% increase in Blue Cross just this year. Yeah. I didn't add anything to that. So, um, Wendy, let me. I mean, go no, ahead. no, keep going. Sorry, I didn't need to cut you off. Okay. Um, HRA contribution that's based on the, the town's policy um, for the folks in general fund here. Dental insurance is currently what we're paying. Uh, that price is actually, if it's going to increase, it would be July 1. I don't have any idea what that might be at this time. It's still pretty inexpensive. And then the disability insurance. So all of these things that yeah, are in green from line 96 on my spreadsheet to line 101 were all calculated off that sheet that I sent you. And if you make a change to a salary tonight, I can go on that sheet, I can calculate it, and we can bring the correction here. Okay. So we're ready to roll if you do decide to change something. Can I just revisit what I heard you say? It's inc is included, and I, I know you said you said gave it to us in a separate spreadsheet, but I only have one screen. And yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. That's no, no, no. Let me just ask you. Let you know I have it. It's um, and we can use it if we need to. But let me ask you the question. So this entire section, as appropriate, includes the assumption that we have. Um, a, a town clerk who's receiving benefit, um, the director of public works receiving benefits, and the mm -hmm. treasurer receive right three people receiving yes benefits that's correct the those are the three full timers in general funds proposed, proposed under fiscal year twenty four. Yep. Okay, I'm going to just make a note of that, folks. Yeah, good things. Um, and then in highway, it's the highway crew. Yeah, hang on. Okay, thanks, Wendy. Okay, so, and the total there, not insignificantly, just benefits is over $124,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's not everybody. Right. Yep, that's just the three employees that we mentioned. Right. And I think it's important to note, you know, this increase in the Blue Cross Blue Shield is 11.6%. That's a huge wow. jump. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. And, yep. You know, if we have to explain some of these increases, it's important to, to remember that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plus, you're adding two new people to it mm -hmm. because right now you only have one employee on benefits and general fund. 
Right. Right. That's which is an anomaly year. We've had. Right. We've well, had. Well, clear twenty three. You had budgeted actually for two. We just didn't utilize it all, right? Right. Because, yeah, and, retired. and the DPW position is created by reshaping some other positions. Right. And the and if you look, our year to date actual for FY twenty three, you know, those figures are way low from what we were thinking they were gonna be because we haven't had right the staff. Right, right. So that in terms of the actual and when I say reshaped, we didn't ultimately in the FY24 budget, we do not have more FTEs. No. We do not have more FTEs. It's important that we all remember that. Right. Okay. Um, Wendy, keep going. Okay. The next uh, place where I made a change was under Planning Commission. Um, under the, where the Planning Commission had asked you folks under where you have to look at what is the allocate $5,000 to uh, a planning commission reserve fund, and they don't see a need for assistant wages at this time. So on, on the sheet that I sent you, I zeroed that out, and I added a new line, um, PC reserve fund, planning commission reserve fund for the 5000 That, again, would be like a train. If you pass that, that mm -hmm. would be like a transfer out to that fund if it were created, and I know Denise talked about the fact she was going to add that to your warning. Yep, needs to yeah. add a warning. Yeah. Yeah. Was okay. The question was the reduction in expenses from one thousand to five hundred. That, as I remember, was at the suggestion of the planning commission, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So these numbers yeah. came directly. Yeah, they were directly from the PC. So the numbers are what they were, except for that change, moving the five thousand right to a different line to a reserve fund. Okay. Well, and just yeah, so it doesn't look like they've spent anything in fiscal year twenty-three. Well, and just just to just to clarify, if we leave it, if we budget it. And it doesn't get used, then it goes back to the to the general fund. Right. Yes, it does. And if we have a reserve fund, then right. it goes there. It stays there. Yeah. Right. It's there. Yeah. Right. Right. And and the net their net proposal is is a is a reduction. <laughs> yes. I didn't remember. Well, no, fifty-seven instead of sixty-two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. The next place where uh, if I can move on. Yes, you may. Yeah, the next place is under Town Hall, and um, the I split up the electric utilities and put that under utilities because right now, for whatever reason, utilities, phone, and internet all went to that one. So I just made some differentiation here. Um, the electric bill isn't too high for the Town Hall because it isn't used, you know, every day like the town offices. So um, based on current costs, I think $1,000 is enough for the utilities, meaning the electric bill. And phone and internet um, runs right now about 150, 160 a month for phone and internet uh, for the town hall. And um, I think Denise and I talked about that today, and I think that that makes sense. Yeah, it's just under two thousand dollars, so it seems like that ought to be reasonable. Um, maybe with CB fiber, you'll have some savings. I don't know, but that seems like in line with what you're paying now through consolidated. Yeah, I doubt there will be any savings, but there might be better service. Okay. Hopefully, they're sure it's all better. The um, security alarm, that had been budgeted and expensed previously in the town, or it been, had been expensed, not budgeted, but expensed in, under the town office. It really belongs here. I'll be sure to um, make a journal entry, even for 23, to make sure it goes to the right place. Okay. That's another thing about this review of the budget. It's highlighted to me some little fix-ups. That kind of need to happen in the GL as well. Good, thank um, you. So just down to insurance. Just I, Wendy, before you do that, I just want to note that we should have done this in each section as people, as we, as we all consider, you know, what what we're saying. This goes up, that goes down. We're going to have internet here. Yay! It'll cost more. Um, we're that section, I just calculated the increase, it's 20, 20%. It's um, $3,000 increase, 20%. And that's for two reasons. One is that we have, it, we have inadequately budgeted in recent years the Town Hall Reserve Fund and because of the increase for internet. Anyway, all right, keep going, Wendy. 
down, we are down to long-term debt, is that what you said? You know what, I, I'm sensing I may have made a mistake here. Where? Under, um, under utilities, because there's heat, and I don't see that anywhere here. Well, it's propane. It's propane, but it's still utilities. Mm -hmm. It's under utilities, and I was thinking it was just electric. This, because year to date we spent eleven hundred dollars. That's through um, November. It's a good thing I'm catching this. Your budget is thirty two hundred, and look at what you spent in fiscal year twenty two. All right, so we can't do. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's electric and heat. So yeah. make a note of that. You're going to have to change that. Okay, so yeah, so our budget FY twenty three budget was thirty two. Over an FY22 actual of 4,700. And didn't we think that in FY22 we'd spent a lot of money? Was that the year that there was a lot of work done? No, it was before. It was before the work was done? I mean, why, why did we budget a, such a $1,500 reduction for 23, FY23, when we realized a $4,700 cost in FY22? I'm wondering. Something because when we yeah. budget, we don't know. We don't have the whole story. We don't know that forty-seven hundred when we're budgeting in November, December. No, I know, but we already had the actual. When we, no, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, that's right. We didn't. Have that's the right. Worst month. Now, when the that's right. That's is, right. Yeah, is the so um, cost for heat separate? I can't remember. Separate for the town office and separate for the town hall. Is that what we're doing now? Yeah, it doesn't come. It, it comes on one bill. There's two different locations. I think they're both suburban propane, and I think I get two bills on that. Okay. Okay. So, so, so this budget here would just be for the town hall. So under utilities, in parentheses, we should put heat and electricity. Yeah. Um. So if you were budgeting thirty two hundred, and I think Denise, when you and I talked today, the electric bill for the town hall really isn't that high. Right. That's where the thousand dollars came from. But the okay. electric, but the but the heating. So bottom line is we've spent forty seven hundred in the last two years ago. Well, in FY twenty two. In FY twenty two, the year that so, ended in June. Right, and in FY twenty three. So far, we've spent one thousand one hundred and twenty-seven. But that was November, which is the highest heating month. Right. Of course, January and February is gonna. Yeah. So I mean, I think I take the thirty-two hundred and maybe bump a little based on what what propane has gone up a little mm -hmm. since you budgeted a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But is there a reason? Specific reason if we spent forty seven hundred dollars to think that fiscal twenty four will be better than fiscal twenty. I don't think so. No. I mean, do we have a choice? Don't we have to go with five thousand bucks? It looks like something happened in fiscal year twenty two though, because it's way off from budget. I'm trying to remember and what it what it was. Did the cost go up? Well, we had we and had the that year. date doesn't reflect the actual fiscal year twenty two. Because FY22, the town hall, wasn't that during the worst part of COVID and nobody was doing anything here? Uh, right. So without research, right, so. I don't have an explanation. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So, you know. But, I mean, I think if you put 3600 there, you've got enough to cover the electric because that's 1000 and it would be spending $2,600 for the year on heat. That's very possible. And, and yeah. And so during the six months or so when you're heating it, that seems reasonable. Now we met here a lot in 22, right? And so this thing would have no, in. No, we didn't start six. meeting in person again until last summer. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I remember being here uh, we did to discuss the ordinance, the large animal ordinance. We had a hearing here. I remember we Doug Lilly was oh. over there. Yeah, yeah no, I No, I that. think we were here. I know why. Yeah, is, yeah, and I think we were here. All right. That, that may be account for why it's bumped up because now we started increasing utilization and others too. We let yeah. others use this building. So right. in any case, I put the thirty six hundred that Wendy yeah. suggested. You guys feel okay about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, where are we going next, Wendy? Insurance. Um, building. Insurance. Um, I I uh, worked with Denise on this a little bit. I did get the numbers today from Vermont League and Cities and Towns. Where those numbers would have come from would be the response from your renewal application. They would have sent you statements on what it was going to cost for um, general property insurance and liability, uh, unemployment, and workers' comp. And I was going to be able to get the detail from them on unemployment insurance and uh, workers' compensation. Just just a ballpark there. Uh, when I met when I talked with them, um, they said about 90% of it is highway. So what you see here is the $1,600 uh, for workers' compensation and general fund is based on their renewal costs um, because general fund, you know, people who are administrative are low cost for workers' compensation. Mm -hmm. um, right. Folks who work on the highways or water and sewer or anything like that are much higher. In right. So when did so that split there? And when did so the yeah. un the unemployment insurance and the workers' comp that is office and highway is that right together no this is just general fund okay just general fund okay gotcha general fund employees yeah based on the renewal okay yeah um even adding other administrative employees isn't going to be hugely expensive here <coughs> um most of this expense with workers comp is good as on the highway side and you'll see yeah. that in a moment when yeah. we go there yeah. Okay. The building, all the rest of the insurance, which is general liability, including <coughs> stamps, um, if the liability insurance and all of those things, um, you, what you had done in the past was split it about 50-50 between highway and general fund. Mm -hmm. And so the total was like $24,000 and change, $24,588. I just split it 50-50 because you had done that in the past, clearly. At least I got the total number today. So I feel like these are pretty pretty fair splits here for general fund, and then you'll see what it is over in highway when we get there. Okay, thank you. But at least I got the verification from the lead today on what these costs were with the renewal. Yeah, this, this is calendar year 23, by the way. Yeah, this form, this document that they sent, I've never seen this before. What's that? The thing that I sent you? Yeah. I know. Um, I, I know. I filled out the paperwork for. Huh. Something at VLCT, I remember that, but I never got this. Nope. I've never seen that before, but that's so, but now we have okay. it, so that's good. So that's that, and um, I did check all the sums. So, you know, when you come down to your total for budget 24, total DD budgeted expenses, yeah, there's nothing I did there. check that the right rows were added up. So I did that earlier today. Um, I don't see so that total there. so far, 738. 97, 85 without the changes necessarily. Okay, hang on, Wendy. Wait a minute. When I deleted those lines, we lost the um, the formula. So, so let me um, fix that. So what did you get? 745. So why don't I go ahead and make the changes that you have that we've done right along? Okay. And um, and then I can tell you what the number is. Okay. That yep. I just did it just so you tell me, and if we match, that'll be good. Okay. Same for your times. Right. I'm going to put five thousand compared to this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Wow. It's a big increase. Mileage is staying at three hundred, yeah. right? Yeah. And what's the what was the the health the health insurance is eleven point six, but what does percent? Right. So. If we go back up and look at what health insurance well, hang was on. for FY23. Denise, let's, let, let's make sure that Wendy's numbers match ours as a check on what I, how I yeah, address sure. the formula. And then let's not get ahead of ourselves because a little of this increase that we're seeing is because we move positions around. Right, right, and right. they're above the line now rather than below. Oh, right. Right. So right. 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 Because we have everybody DD. needs to just calm down DD. until we get to the bottom. <laughs> Nobody's not calm. Okay, good. <laughs> um, that's what I was trying to see is what the difference was in insurance from last year. Okay. Now zeroing out that six hundred dollars for the copier and putting in nine hundred for the copier maintenance. Mm -hmm. So I think I am up to date with you. Let's talk insurance now. 
but hang on. The reason why health insurance is so much more is that you are going to be hiring two new administrative employees, and I have estimated they, that both of them may want a family plan. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, right. that's what we should do. Right. Um, it's, it's not too new. We're filling two pre positions that have been either filled or vacant. Yes. But the pe one of the people that you had in general fund for fiscal year 23 was not a family plan. Right, 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 right. Wendy, right. What, what, what's people, the difference in cost? Hang on, hang on. Okay, people sorry. come and go, sometimes they're family, sometimes they're not. It has nothing to do with whether we hire them. It just has an effect on the insurance. Before we go on, I want to make sure that our numbers match. Wendy, what do you have in total GG oh. budgeted expenses in column F? $52.85. Okay, good. so we're on the same page. Good. Everyone's mm -hmm. syncing up. John. Can I answer the question about the difference in health care costs? Yeah, go ahead. Um, for fiscal year on this fiscal year, which is, of course, you know, health care is a calendar year kind of thing. <clears throat> the, the change comes in January. All right. So a family plan, the, uh, the cost of the town is $2,043 per month. And for a two-person, it's $1,454 a month. And a single person is $7.7 .7 a month. Can you give me those numbers again? Two yep. fa families, family. what? $2,043. 2043. Okay. Two-person, 1454. Okay. Single, 727. And that's the town, the amount the town pays, because that's the employer yeah. cost. And, and their match is 10% of 15 now. 10. 10. But you can see if you were replacing one, a two-person plan with a family, and then adding another family, you could see where you could, you could really increase your health yeah. cost in a year. Yep. Yeah. And the other thing I did with that other spreadsheet that I sent you all by email is I showed you the total benefit cost at the bottom for both general fund and highway. Okay. Okay. So let's take care of general fund. Yep. And if we go to highway, fewer changes here. So starting with um, benefits, um, the benefits contingency, you guys have, have budgeted FICA and Medi, again, that's based on the people who are working in that department, and it's just the road crew. Right. Uh, beamers are only the, um, <coughs> the four people who are covered by beamers in that department. Right. Um, <coughs> also, I pulled out the, um, the director's uh, benefits. It's over in general fund now. So this is just the road crew. Yep. Uh, health insurance, again, is just the road crew coverage. There, um, you know, the, the choice is there. You've got, you've got one person that doesn't take the insurance, uh, two people on single plan, and one person on two family plans, uh, two, two person plans. So there are a lot, there's less of a burden there, mm -hmm. just to let you know. Um, the dental insurance, and then we've got the uh, disability and the HRAs. Now there's a there's a five hundred dollar amount in here for education and training. I I want I don't know if that was in the original or where that might have been, but that's something I wanted to ask about. Is yeah. there training and, and are there classes and stuff that the highway people take because in they, prior years they have been budgeted to that? There's very little use of that line item, partly partly because a lot of the trainings that are offered are at no charge, Vermont Local mm -hmm. Roads. Vermont Local Roads sometimes has trainings, um, mm -hmm. and I don't think they charge us sometimes. I don't think BLCT doesn't have a lot of road training, but John's here. Right. Do you guys get any information about trainings? Mm -hmm. That Yeah, and well, there's been a number of reasons historically that, that John is saying no, that, that may not, that may have been the case, and it could change in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of opportunity to train. Some of it um, is 
free and some of it isn't. Right. I think so we should want to have a little budget. Yeah, I think yeah. we should have some money in there for training. What line is that? Training. Education and training. Why? Two, what? 206. Okay. Scrolling way down the wrong place. Okay. Thank you. 206? Yeah. Well, it is on this. I'm two oh eight, but yeah, yeah, we deleted yeah, a couple of lines. <laughs> and then the only changes I made to insurance to the rest of highway is just under insurance, where I'm I'm showing you the split here, the other side, which is um the split for the liability and, and the property and casualty insurance, just splitting the total amount to the town is twenty four thousand five eighty eight, so I have to split it fifty fifty between general fund. And, um, and highway. Um, and what's allocated here for unemployment is just strictly the highway portion, and the number of consultations is the estimates for the highway portion at 90% of the cost. Mine doesn't. The total cost. I'm not, I just need to know. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just, I And then Denise asked me to ask the members of the community to tell us. Wait a minute. Guys, wait a minute. Yeah, we can't, okay. I can't, we can't hear. Uh, Wendy, you go back to the point you're about to make. Are you all set with the insurance and highway? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are okay. really not negotiable. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of options on that. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the, 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 the total budget for highway, what I have, just to make sure we're on the same page, is 891-433-45. Got it. Okay. I don't, I don't All right. It. So down under the appropriations, I've added Orca Community Television. What's the amount that's going to be donated to them? We're not doing that. Yeah, we actually, they didn't request anything from us, so we took that out when we met on Saturday. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, have to, I, have to, I have to get with you, Wendy, and update the social services appropriation stuff. I've done it on... Um, the warning, but I haven't done it on the spreadsheet. So what I can do probably is just send you the warning and then you can send the numbers. I can. Okay. And you probably noticed I put in um, I put in a little calculator down at the bottom for your tax rate. I didn't notice. At the very bottom. Is and it? I, I made two assumptions. I made the assumption that non-tax revenues for 24 would be similar to 23. What well, are those things? It's like the pilot that you get from the state and the state aid to highways and all that kind of thing. Uh, you know, clerk fees, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, so they're in line 357. Yeah. Wendy, can you translate um, total agreement that total, the total municipal rate, 84, that's 84 cents Per what is it? Or let's so call it eighty-five cents. What? So you've got the calculation for the current budget year, right? Yeah. Which was? Do you see that in column B? Is that the point seven six? Mm -hmm. That's your current. That was the tax rate you guys set back in July. Or right. For, for the for this fiscal year, FY twenty three. Right. Mm -hmm. But the we no, not, no, 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 the total the county anticipated it was gonna have three hundred and sixteen thousand dollars of revenues that were not taxes. Okay. Right. It's all that other stuff I talked about, you know, pilot and all that. So then you take the amount, you need uh, the total amount of your budget plus the warrant articles, which for fiscal year twenty three was one point eight eight three million, right? No, I and don't, you subtract yeah. the anticipated Line revenue that are going to soften the tax rate below a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And the net amount to raise in taxes for fiscal year 23 was um, just under $1.6 million. You can see that at the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. In column D. Mm -hmm. Your municipal grand list is the number there, okay? And you know that's divided by 100 in, in, in order to make the calculation work. You know, your grand list is. Yeah. So what you do for the municipal tax rate is you divide uh, the net amount to raise in taxes divided by the municipal grant list in this format, and that gives you your tax rate. 
But but how does that dollars of value per hundred dollars of value? Okay, so that's that's what I wanted to know. So that is the municipal tax rate is 80, 84 cents um, per, 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 per hundred dollars of value. But right. there's an adjustment to it that you you have a local agreement for yeah. veteran exemption that okay. your town has agreed to. And so we have to count because it, it's a little bit, it's good, it, it's a, a little bit of an increase increase over everybody else because of that. Yeah, 85 so, cents. Um, that's what the local agreement's all about, so you have yeah. to add that to the tax rate. Right, so the total municipal tax rate could be 84 cents. 84.5. Well, it's almost 80, 85 cents. 85 cents per hundred dollars of value. So we can all get out our calculators and see what's that's essentially the term tax. Well, it's going from, going from like 84 cents to 85 per 100. Wait, I'm confused. No, it's going from 77. It's going from 77 to 74. Oh, four. Okay. Yep. And that is a 9.5% increase. That's a lot. So if you own a $250,000 property, last year you paid um, well, hang on. <laughs> I did my math the wrong way. Last year you paid it doesn't make sense either. So Wendy, 250, that's Take how many? Take two zeros. And oh, it's one zero. Seven. I have to, 2,500 hundreds times 0. 0.7703 is, okay, so last, if you had a $250,000 property, last year you paid 1,925. Yep, and then this. What was it? I can't hear 1925, almost 1926. And then this yeah. year. I'm going to call it and this then year, twenty. Would be, oh, I just did. The, so it's almost a two hundred dollar difference in your taxes, which is. So it would be twenty one twenty five roughly for yep, twenty one one eight is what I got. Yeah. Okay. So. Another yeah. So or eighty said another way eighty five cents so minus. Hundred and ninety two dollars more based on the proposed budget that you have in front of you. So eight dollars per eight dollar increase per hundred dollar of property value. Mm -hmm. And that is if all the articles pass, the social services. Mm -hmm. That's everything. everything. Right. But let, if does we, not include school taxes, everyone. Does not include no, schools, school taxes. Does it include fire? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard school taxes might go up as much as nine percent. School taxes are seventy five percent of the budget right. on average. So, Nine to eleven percent increase for the school. So what we've done historically is a couple of things. We have we we don't have it cut out this way. I didn't have time to do that. I really wanted to. What we've said to ourselves is the things that we can really control are the town office, you know, select board and um, the select board and town office and the highway. We don't really control the fire and rescue. Uh, either either one, East Montpelier or Woodbury. That's right. Um, even though they're added into our numbers above. Mm -hmm. um, so we could take a few minutes to cut them out and redo the tables so we can see what it really looks like. But with those in there, um, so we're looking at it. What'd you say, Mark? Nine percent. Nine point nine. But that's with social services but added. That's with everything. That's but everything. it's not what Sharon said. It, right. It includes fire. The fire. It includes fire and includes mm -hmm. special services. Yeah. Our budget, including fire, is a ten percent increase with the numbers we have in now. So. What's our? You did say, Sharon, something I didn't understand, but was really important. You said when we were just looking at our budget, not the roads budget, the general fund budget. Hey. You said don't panic because there's, you know, it's like two hundred thousand dollar difference. Hang hey, on, just... actually, let me take that back. What I just so so if you have the tables up in front of you, I I lied, <coughs> I lied a second ago, because we do have we yay a couple years ago we didn't 
Now we do have this spreadsheet set up so that we have a tally on general government and highway expense, which is what we have said is within the control of this board. We have that tally with the fire departments and the social services both not Where? in. What line? Yep. 296. 296 yes. is what we are in charge of. Now, why did it go down? It didn't. It went up. Budget 23 oh, was 150,000. That was just highway. Look at line. Oh, highway. I'm sorry. Went look, up at, look at total budget. 1.48. 1.48. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. To 1.6629. So went up, it went up 10.5%. Okay. What we are in control of is in this spreadsheet yeah. is up 10.5%. So this is, and it doesn't, so that again, just to repeat myself, doesn't include the special articles, which yeah. we generally just put forward the way people ask for it. Um, people can vote yes or no, and then it doesn't include fire and ambulance. Um, of Kellogg Harvard Library, thirty library, grand, is, yeah, right, thirty right. grand. Remember, right? That's a flat number. Special articles come to sixty-one thousand dollars. So on the part that we're in control of, as we went through it, the first area that occurred to me mm -hmm. to ask ourselves is just a question. You know, I'm an advocate for reserve funds for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Right. One position we could take, if we want, is that this year was an extraordinary year because of the 8% inflation rate, which we were dealing with in so many different areas here. It reflects mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is year when we cut way back on what we put in reserve. What we put in reserve because we just this was a year we couldn't do it. I, I don't think see things changing. I, it won't change very much now. And no, we've done that before. I was yeah. gonna say we have cut back. <laughs> we've on said that before. Months. We've yeah. done that I was even a year in a row. We already <coughs> said that last year, Mark. <laughs> Another extraordinary year. Woo! I mean, and then we cut back, you know, if we cut back on conservation fund, we've done that several mm -hmm. years. We've done that with the And it's already behind. Button, and we're already behind, and if we don't ever get caught up, you know, people can make amendments from the floor at town meeting, if it's in person, um, to reduce things. Or to increase, which we or might see. We might see that. Given some of the places where we, we have not made increases. Well, you know, so we can look at, yeah, I mean, the standard, whether you like it or not, whether we agree with it, um, it, the standard employee contribution for health insurance around the state, probably around the country, is 15 to 20%. I was going to say, yeah. We're, we're Our employee match is 10. Right. And um, we had discussed that when we had the union negotiations. Before. Upping that in trade and all this stuff. Um, so I calculated, you know, a year on a family plan, it's, it's just shy of $25,000 our share. Mm -hmm. um, for one, per one person? For a family, family plan. For one person with a family plan? No, for family plan, our cost for a family, we pay, that, that means three or more people. Right, no, no, I, I understand. Oh, one employee. one employee. Yeah, so if we had two employees, that's 50 grand. Plan. And Wendy, I think, was basing some of her figures on we might likely get a treasurer, <coughs> DPW, wanting a family plan. Right. It, you know, what, 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 yeah. what, we, what we keep <coughs> hearing, both at the union negotiating table and even in discussions in this room, right down to Scott's plea today, there, there seems to be a lack of recognition time and again that we provide a greater, we pay a greater share of the benefits. We have an extraordinary benefit plan One of the best. and it goes unrecognized time and again, time and again. In fact, that's what killed the union contract with the highway department because the highway guys, or one of them anyway, is no longer, kept ignoring it despite his union negotiator putting the spotlight on it. You need to understand this is if, yeah. if they increase, if you increase your contribution to insurance plan, that's going to reduce your net in terms of your paycheck. Ignore, ignore. And when it came right down to literally signing the contract, he went through the numbers and then they understood. Right. And then he was like, and, no, no. But the problem is when we're generous there, it's this hidden cost to the town. It's, it's a hidden benefit except to the person collecting or paying. Well, um, you, you don't realize the benefit you need it. And, and, you know, maybe we need to make it more transparent. Maybe the employee pays 
more of their insurance and then um, the savings that we get on insurance we then put on the pay. I'd rather, I'm starting to think that's where we need to move it because then so folks that come to us to say, hey, wow, they're making good. We're going to compare apples to apples when we compare us to East Montpelier and wherever well, else we're going to Well, East Montpelier, they pay a higher percentage of health insurance. Right, everyone. So, so we, we we're not, and it's so, it takes so much of our time and effort to do the apples to apples and no one listens. So, so anyway. Well, so it's basically holding them so harmless, but just, yeah, increase the wage to cover the cost. And right. And then it's recognized. Mm -hmm. So the difference, as I understand it, in our total budgeted general government and highway expense, am I right? It was 1481. Budget 23. It's yeah. now 163 up. One, no, 1637. 1637. Okay. So it's $150,000. Right. That is our nut. That's the number to keep into account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, if we look at. That was line what? You're on general government. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're done with the whole thing. The okay. whole thing. I'm just saying, what's, We're looking our, at the bottom what's line. our target number? Well, so if we wanted to cut. It's not like it's an infinite amount. If we wanted to reduce, if it's 150,000 bucks, it's 10 percent, right? That means 15,000 bucks for every percent, right? So if we want to get from 10 percent, let's say down to five, for example, or six, we would have to come up with. 75,000 bucks or 70,000 bucks. Right. Okay. Right. So, one place, so I just want to know what's our general office? Well, I, I, want, to, I want to look at, Mark, can I point something out? Yeah. Please. I, I, I'm, yeah. So okay. while you look at that, I want to just point out to people because we have re shaped positions. We have had a treasure, we've had the treasure position mm -hmm. open for a really long right, time. Right, yeah. We've recognized the need for a some support for the select board. Um, we've had various ideas of how that all comes together. Um, mm -hmm. We moved the treasurer <coughs> position into the select board position. Right, right. Section. As, as well as the DPW. And we moved the DPW up. The, the visual result of that Take a look at line yeah, 22. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's really good. Yeah. Is yeah, that the select good. board's budget is going from 59000 to 206000 Right. Right, but it's, right, because of the salaries. Right, but but if you, it, I just want, I think we should be aware of that visual and ask ourselves whether we're, whether we're comfortable because it, it creates a sitting duck. And also, if you yes. notice, if you notice that comes out to exactly $150,000 difference and folks are going to assume so, the net increase okay, as a result so of that when it's not. So back. maybe With we should 25. move those positions back out so that it's less yeah, difficult for yeah. visual yeah. input and put yeah. DPW yeah. 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 under highway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, just, I just want, I've been trying. <laughs> What'd you say, well, Wendy? I know you I did, know. but we had to, we had to, <laughs> we're we, slow on the uptake, right? No, 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 I mean, we, we just right. had, we had to work through it, Wendy. It's, well, in vision, okay. and, but Wendy, I mean, you're, it's not, we're, I'm going to stand by, we're, we're correct, given that that position is, has much broader authority than just highway. It's, it does. Right. It's, uh, it, it totally does. Um, but visually, Visually, we're very vulnerable to people not understanding and getting, you know, particularly when you consider the conversations we've had around some of the other requests people have made. Um, yeah. I, the visual makes me really uncomfortable. Well, I have a quick question that doesn't have to do with that. And yeah. It might be an easy thing. Yeah. I noticed under auditor, you have a line for term auditor, which makes no sense to me. Because the total uh, contract you had with Sullivan and Powers was seventeen thousand and something, and it's up under select board. Uh, I don't know why the four thousand dollar budget is there. Where is that? Board. What line is that, Wendy? It's um, in mine now. It's line fifty-one. It's under audit. There's a oh. line for 
town auditor. You guys don't have internal auditors anymore. No, so that's seven thousand dollars that we could. Then why in well, FY? No, 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 no. We have to leave the town. No, it's four thousand. We have to Does leave the town report stuff in. Doesn't make sense to me. And what I see moving there is the professional audit. I bring the seventeen thousand from select board down into this line for town honor. That's a really good idea. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I do too. Okay, so move. Okay. I'm gonna make that change. Like okay. Wendy, right. are you working in this? You're working in a different spreadsheet than I am, right? So she'll send it to us. So line so fourteen. It's the same one. Are you? But you're not in the drive. No. 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 Ma'am. No. Ma'am. I'm, I'm on my own. <laughs> Move 14 to 53. Well, that's so I'm going to replace that $4,000 amount with $17,000 and take it out of the select board. Yep. yep. Sharon's doing it for you right now. Uh, I'm doing it too. Well, well this is how it, no, we should both do it because that's been the check. Yeah. So that drops $4,000 worth of cost right there. Right. And moves the 17 out of the select board's budget down to the auditor. Which is where it should be. Right. Boy, we make money having hired you, huh? <laughs> not really, because that's not my clue in the original one, I think. So. I'm just kidding. But, um, all right, so I'm taking the town auditor out, and now I've just made a mess of my overall tallies, but we're, we're going to keep going. So, no, I, well, I've got the tallies on, don't worry. Um, we want to move the treasurer, business manager, town administrator down to the treasurer's salary. I think we yeah, should, yeah, because think everybody should. agreed. Yeah, I just should. Visual, agree. Visually, we're going to... And, and, and then let's see where we're at with what's the... Can you go no. Sorry, I don't mean to be a backseat. Yeah, that won't make any difference. It's just moving it from one place to another. No. No, but visually it it tells yeah. it tells a different story. A, well, it's an easier story right. to tell. Right. Um, now why, so, okay. So then where are we with? And, and then if you want to move the director of public works to to highway, I can do that too. I just got need to recalculate the um, the payroll taxes and benefits for each general fund and highway and it won't take me that long. Do you people want to move the Okay, wait a minute. So now our FY twenty four budget for FY twenty four for the select board is one twenty three. What yeah, was it? One twenty three and eighty dollars. Right, and what was it before? Before we moved oh, to two hundred. Before we moved, before we moved those two things out, what was it? Well, the two things I moved out were seventeen thousand. Yeah, it was two oh six. Sixty six five hundred. I just slid over to the and other. And the total of eighty thousand five hundred dollars. So, Wendy, in the old tabs, the exact number of what that line was is two. The whole select board section was two oh six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 206. And now it's 123. Well, and then we yeah, move, move the DPW, and that bumps it down another 80. And we move DPW, so do people want to do that? And that brings it back down to the okay, 50 Okay, so range. with the changes we just good. made, yeah, just with the changes That's we just... Anyway. Hang on. With Let's, the changes we just made, it, is a, it changes the bottom line by $83,000. No, no, I changed the bottom line by the difference between four thousand and seventeen thousand, which is thirteen thousand. No, 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 Wendy, no, Wendy. One department to another. We're in a different. And, yeah. We're Denise, on select board. Denise just moved to select board. It, 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 I'm sorry. It dropped four thousand dollars. It took right. four thousand dollars out of the cost for the general fund. That's right. 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 So in my in my spreadsheet, when I took the line out. The previous numbers come out as well, FYI. So, right, because we've had that budgeted in our section before. Mm -hmm. Right. So now. So you should have, so Sharon, you should have seventeen thousand dollars under audit. Right. Right, but we also Instead did. Four. But we also moved the treasurer's wages. Yeah, but that's okay. It just moved it from one place to another. Right. So what you should have for your total budgeted general fund expenses right now. Wendy, hang seven, on. Four, hey, Wendy. 741, Wendy, under audit, I have 17 for the professional audit and 3,000 for the town report. So the total, the total audit is 20. Okay, yeah. and, and so what was the number you just said on a different section? Um, the total I'm looking at for total general fund, FY24, now with the $4,000 drop, is 741. 652 85. But hang on, before we before we get there, because 
um, it's all going to still it's still going to be all in the general 741. That number, the bottom line in the general Isn't fund. True. Right, the bottom line isn't going to change. Isn't going to change. We're just, we're just moving, we're just moving the numbers around. And no, it, it dropped by four thousand yeah, dollars. Right, right. That's right. the only change. But the four thousand dollar term auditor with seventeen thousand dollar costs that you merely moved from select board to audit. Got it. But you got rid of the four thousand dollars. When you dropped Wendy, four thousand dollars out of your budget with that one. When he, give us three minutes to make the changes we want to make. Okay. To just look at it differently. Yeah. And okay. then we'll come back to overall because we're not in cutting. We're just generally. If you if you have other thoughts on cutting, let's just hold the thought and give us a couple minutes yeah. while I check on the board on moving That's the. That's the only recommendation I had for cutting because it seemed like an obvious implication to me. Oh, it's the okay. only one. Okay. Uh, okay. Our, okay. All right. <laughs> So guys, let me just we'll go back to DPW and the and the idea of moving DPW out of select board back down to highway. Um, I mean that kind of takes us. What would, what did we have budgeted for highway for the road commissioner last year? What did we budget for road commissioner last year? Um. Um, Rick, I'm going to let you find that number, and I'm yeah, just going to stay where I am. Budgeted. Road commissioner's wages for FY FY 23 were 7160. So what we're in effect doing is yeah. putting in the DPW position, which is what did we say? 70 or 80? 80? It's 80. Yeah. 80. So if we put in 80, that's a ten thousand dollar difference from last year. In, yeah, in the salary. yeah, in the salary for a very different position. I don't understand why Director Public Works. Well, he'll be in a partial year. Oh, that's, that's right. We, did, we, we paid him a little bit. That's right. Yeah, we did pay him just a little bit. That's uh, um, the auditor. Yeah. Can I make a recommendation on this with the DPW director just for your thoughts? Sure. Okay. I would guess. Based on what I know about the operation, that the director of public works, although they're going to manage grants and they will probably be doing um, some oversight of the other town properties, which which there are only two, right? The town office and the town hall. No, there's no. Some, the swim font, swim area, um, okay. town one. forests, right? Trails. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's some other there's some other properties to look after, but. Um, but most of their time, I would think, is going to be regarding highway because most of your grants are highway related. But what you could do is after a year, figure out how much of that person's time was spent on highway related activities and how much was it spent on general fund related activities. Yeah, we plan. You could actually make a transfer. You could expend it all in highway, but then make a transfer from the general fund or you could even guesstimate it at this point and, and, and actually um, budget the transfer from General Sounds Fund good. Highway to compensate for the highway burden. Yeah. Um, we did this in the town I used to work in because the DPW commissioner, we didn't have a separate highway fund, we had a streets department in General Fund. But this person also managed water and sewer. Can so, his when, whole salary was in general fund, but we acknowledge that all of his activity was not general fund. Can we, when he staying with that thought, is it yeah, is it like, you know, is it permitted to split the budget in two sections, director of public works? That gets messy. You're okay. better to do it by by way of transfers. So, so we would put okay. so. So Wendy, would we put in a line item under the select board budget transfer to DPW? Or highway. Yeah. Huh? Transfer to highway? Let's in say you figured out that this person was going to be 50-50. Probably not, but let's say it was for kicks here. Well, 50% of your salary and, and, and benefits would be a transfer from general fund into highway, but all the expense would be in highway. So highway wouldn't get hit so hard mm -hmm. for activities that really didn't belong there. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I yeah. think, um, yeah. so, but but on this on this spreadsheet, 
Denise's question was whether literally on this spreadsheet we show it, and and I didn't. I heard no on the spreadsheet. No, I heard her say yes. No, she said it gets messy. You could. No, you said you said we could put in a line under item under select board budget transfer out to highway for DPW or something, right? Right. Well, you could put it in another spot if you felt it was a place that was also um, applicable. Mm -hmm. I mean, where you put it in your budget if you want to do that transfer. I think what I might do is wait until you had a year of experience, or at least six months or so, with a position to understand what that transfer would be. Yeah, that makes sense. So, but if we're talking about doing something this year, yeah, we could just pick a number out of the air, right? To say that well, we we we. You might have a you might have a good read on what you think it would be. Is it forty sixty? Is it thirty seventy? I think it's more like thirty seventy. Well, the, the bottom line is the person's going to submit one amalgamated timesheet. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, though, the timesheet would be split into... Okay, building codes. What, 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 what is, what is, what is done, Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. What is, what is done for highway... In one fund or another. Right. right. And so it comes... But then you make a determination how much of that person's time, an approximate, is spent in the other fund where it's not expensed, and do the transfer. It's just so clean, it's so easy. You go splitting up time sheets between funds, that's it. No, we're not doing that. But, but Wendy, what you're talking about, my, uh, let me just say what I understand you're saying. My understanding of what you're talking about, when you talk about a transfer, is something that happens behind the screen in Nemric somewhere in the accounting system. No. Okay. It's kind no. of like a reserve fund. You right? already you have money. budgeted transfers here. Yeah, we you already have, have reserve these. funds. You've got all these budgeted <coughs> transfers to your reserve funds, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this... you're budgeting those every year. Like to the technology <coughs> fund, you budget $5,000 because you want to build that up. Okay. This so... transfer is no different. Those transfers are going from general fund to a reserve fund. So it... it. It's up to me to make that happen and make that money move. But so it has, so it has, so it has, you have a line in your general fund, transfer to highway, and you can even put uh, for director, you know, or something so you know what it is. So let's say it's $30,000. When so you would transfer $30,000 to highway to support or supplant the total cost of the director that sits in highway, even though all of their activities aren't related to that fund. So, so Wendy, Wendy, I am less concerned or focused for purposes right now on all of the transfers in the back end and, and very much focused on what does this look like in this budget spreadsheet that we're building that gets printed in the town report. Right. So, and if you want to soften the blow on the select board section, this is one of the ways to do it. So what I was asking you a minute ago is can we split it between the select board section and the highway, and you said no, that gets messy, but... Well, no, but what I thought you were asking me, and I thought someone was asking me, to actually on a functional basis split up their paycheck every week. No, 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 no not, not at all. Please don't do that. No, 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 no. I'm just asking on the spreadsheet, can okay. we show... If we agree that that it's as Denise suggested, 70-30, can yeah, we budget 30% in select board and 70% in down in highway? Right. Is there any reason well, to not do that? I would. This is what I, how I would phrase it. I would put 100% of the expense in highway, but I would put the 30% in the select board budget as a transfer out to highway. Yeah, and then that way. You've covered it all. Oh, You've got I all see. of your yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. The point. That's what I thought she and, That's what I thought she meant. And you acknowledge the burden in the right place. <coughs> Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think that makes sense. So, the, so when we sit in the line that is Director of Public Works, Grant Coordinator, and the <coughs> General Government Select Board, is the budget FY24, is it 80% or, it's sorry, 80,000 times point, if it's times 33, is $24,000. Did we put $24,000 in line seven? and then put the rest down in highway? So we would say Director of Public Works, Grant and Coordinator, transfer. There's two lines here that I didn't understand. There was Grant Coordinator, Director, and then there's Director of Public Works. One of those lines needs to go. Doesn't matter which one. 
we had. Uh, I would take I would take out number seven because that's a duplication with. I would. Oh wait, it's got a budget amount. Right, right. right. that's what it was. That's what it used to be called. Right, that's okay. an old placeholder. Can I just move the four thousand one dollars up to that line, or do you want to leave it direct for public work? See this eleven two fifty that we budgeted for this fiscal year. Was grant coordinator. Right, it was grant coordinator. We took oh, that. Oh, I see. We, That's took, I see. we, I we supplemented. Okay. Are you? Can you hear me? We made. Mm -hmm. We we took that money when we were figuring out a budget for the DPW because it was going to be a mixed position. Mm -hmm. We took we took that eleven two fifty and put it in what we were using for to pay the DPW. So that eleven that grant coordinator can just be gone. Okay. Well, but except except for the fact that we have to keep the history. But we didn't pay anybody. We didn't, no, but we budgeted it. Now, to balance out the transfer question, you also have to acknowledge that that budgeted transfer is going to be a, re a revenue to highway that will offset mm -hmm. the cost. Right. right. So we could reflect that in highway as okay. a um, money a contract. In. If you want to, but, the, the salary line to but, transfer in from general funds. I think that answers Sharon's question. Well, it, it does, it, it does, however, there's nowhere else that we do that. Yes, you're right, we show money yeah. that is that is budgeted in reserves, but we only show one reserve line. We don't show that money yeah. is coming in as a credit in what goes in the town report. But this is different right. because we're, we've created a position that is partially highway and partially other on services, general that, service. other right. general right. services that we need. So this is the first time we've had to think about this. I like the idea of putting something in under the select board budget I do too. That, that is what we know we're gonna transfer to highway. I, I agree with you. I'm just stuck on what does it look like to show a credit down in highway. To me, it looks like budgeting the the rest of the eighty thousand down there. Well, why can't well, you're you just budgeting the whole amount? You're taking out the whatever the thirty percent is, right? So you're just right. you're subtracting that, and it would be the well, one below it. The we could just go back to just showing thirty percent of it here in general fund and seventy percent over in highway. And keep it and simple. Then, and keeping all their benefits on highway or something. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. And that's fine. Know how you want to do that's, it. Isn't that more that's confusing fine. though? I mean, I would think, I actually, I mean, I personally think we ought to keep it one place. The salary amount. And then, and then back out the percentage, whatever we set that at 30 cents and do the transfer. I don't like, I think that does confuse, it muddies it by Wait. having a salary in two places. And then you've got it, when you look at the budget, you think. And, if you don't look at the right line item, you're that's thinking, right. well, it's only a $24,000 like, job. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of simple. <laughs> well, I think this is simple and I think it's, I think it helps with transparency because we know the position isn't full-time highway. Yeah. But wait, I just heard two different things, Denise. I thought when you said, if you have two different numbers, it looks like it's only $24,000. Right, but if you put up here under <coughs> the Director of Public Works, and then if we can put some kind of wording in that shows that this money will be transferred to highway, can you do, can you, is, what would the wording be one day? It would be a transfer out, but you know, the more I think about it, I think the easiest thing, honestly, is to put it into highway. And because remember, you're budgeting your general fund and your highway all in one number, basically. Okay. The you bottom, the bottom line is one number. Yes. Right. Yeah, right. It's, it's still so if it wasn't here in select board and it was over highway, you're budgeting it within the same amount. Or you know what I mean, total. And you could make that transfer. Um, I don't think it has to be a budgeted transfer because you already accounted for the person's full salary and full benefits in one fund. Right. We're right. just that's making right. sure that's right. that there's some piece of it that the highway would get you know, on top of their budget to make and sure. How, I think you could do that transfer on your own just to say, hey, because that's a matter of accounting. But when not they, a matter of budget. But Wendy, how can we word it in the budget so people understand that? Because we've gotten slammed big time with people uh -huh. thinking that this position was created for various reasons. 
just for highway, and it was never in, that was never the intention ever. Okay. So how so the you, reason why the transfers out maybe I spoke too soon. The transfers out to the reserve fund are shown in the budget because those are out actually going out to a different fund that's not even budgeted. Okay. But this is like transfers going from one budgeted fund to a sister budgeted fund, all in the same fall act. If we do a transfer to the DPW director. So, I mean, you could show it here, but then you have to reduce it in the other budget to make it right. make sense. And I think that's going to be too confusing for people. I think I would, I would choose one or the other place to keep the salary and the benefits. So, so John's suggesting that he just, I think what I heard that you just whispered to me is make a new section. Right. And put management this. or something like why can't that. We just, why can't we just create a new section, Department of Public Works? Right. Whatever it's called, management, Department of Public Works. I was thinking more broadly in case we want to fit uh, select board assistant under there, or so we call it, I don't know, come up with another name. I think we just right now, I, I think. But if you call it DPW, then, you know, this whole thing, these, everyone's looking for a reason to attack us based on labels, remember? Mm -hmm. We were told that's a bad label, you should change it to this, and that's, that's, well, that's not what the person does. You know, so I was thinking a broad category that we could fit under well, not I, only the DPW person but the select board assistant, you know, management assistants or well, something I, like that. So, and put yeah. the DPW, put the select board assistant. Well, why not put you know, put the treasurer I was just under that. there too? Let's create a new section instead and of it, town treasurer, call it management, and put the town treasurer and DPW under yeah. that category, you know, town. Town management. You're managing budget, treasurer. You're managing select board uh, administrative stuff, that's select board mm -hmm. assistant. You're managing uh, the public works of the town, the town beach, the island, the lawns, the buildings, the building maintenance. Oh, yes, and so there's a level of oversight of the highway. Town business um, and management, something like that. Yeah, town business. What? Town business and I still, budget I, and management. I still worry about the visual of those two positions being lumped together. That's that's yeah. that's what. Well, I was thinking about three: treasurer, as Denise said. Yeah. Treasurer, DPW. select board assistant, DPW. They all go in there. Well, D, select board assistant is budget, budgeted with the treasurer. With the treasurer, anyway. So those two positions that we have by hand have said are full-time, very busy jobs, particularly if the road commissioner becomes a volunteer person and we don't have that, that right. management. Well, you know, that's still, a, that's $150,000. And the visual of that compared to some other things in town, um, it makes it, to me, it makes it really, it makes it, it's it's just it's this is just not going to be fun. Maybe no matter what we do. I think and you know what under if we said town management, the delinquent tax collector goes under there, the treasurer, business manager goes under there, assistant treasurer goes under there, DPW goes under there, and a stipend for the yeah. um, um, road commissioner, whatever we. Decide we want to pay. Right. I think the road select commissioner. Select board member who does that. Right. There's a yeah. select board member or somebody else. Right. That's the road commissioner. Right. right. They get. We give them a twenty five hundred dollar a year stipend. Yeah. And it's all in one place. Yeah. And then it comes. And out what place is that? A new place. A new we're, category. We're, we're, what we're doing is create new category and general fund. Yeah. Okay. You see where yeah. it says town treasurer. Yeah. Change that to town management. No. No. Town. town uh, no, what do we call I, it? I town? disagree. I think you should keep the treasurer piece together because it's the finance office. <coughs> well, we'll call it finance, finance and, management. Uh, and management, office of finance and management, and then. Oh, the state. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so instead of so instead of town treasurer, it'd be finance and management. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well we can see what it looks like. Or budget and uh, yeah, finance and management. Finance and management, well, this, and under that is well, the, is all the stuff that's under treasurer, delinquent tax collector, stipend for the road commissioner, and the DPW. The road commissioner shouldn't be 
Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe, yeah, that's that. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But we should put in a, a stipend for the road commissioner, assuming that it's going to be um, a I, volunteer. I honestly think, you guys, that the more that we can apply a keep it simple principle, particularly while all of these Thank positions you. are still aspirational, we haven't hired right. anybody, yeah. um, the more that it can look like what people expect and we can explain it in a reasonable context, because if we have a, we're going to have to explain this in right. town in town meeting. Right. And, and I, I, I think you really want to keep it in a highway. That's where people, if I were a taxpayer in your town, I would be expecting this position to be in highway, even if they had other duties. I would, I would rather explain that, you know, unfortunately, under budgeting principles, we have to put it somewhere. And it's real, it's a very, it's a big job with a lot of responsibility in highway. Yes, that's all, we've always said that. Uh, it is not redundant to the road commissioner, at least it wasn't created to be. Um, it has, that person has responsibilities in other places, but to keep it simple and keep it in one line, we put it in highway. Can we call it highway and public works? We could call it highway. And but, then that covers it. And then same thing with the treasurer. And it, the more that these things look Mm -hmm. and look like what people are expecting to see that we're changing the job on the edges we've changed the title under treasurer business manager town administrator so that we're covering the idea that this is an evolving position but once we have people in those positions and folks in town get used to the idea of what their responsibilities are why we have that that it actually is a big job to do in a couple of years, I think it would be easier to, to create this new section and move numbers around when people have a concept of what these jobs are. Right now, they're mm -hmm. just a select board vision that we put on paper and it's aspirational and trying to explain lots of big changes. We've already been through what that feels like to explain well, big changes. It won't be aspirational once we budget it officially. As well, line items. but it's still it's aspirational in that we haven't hired those people right, and nobody right. has a visual right. what it really looks like and feels right. like and and that what the kinds of changes we're talking about will be easier when people understand what those positions are like how they work together how they manage our town they have people and faces attached to them right now it's still a vulnerability for us because we are we are the ones who are most experienced what it's like not to have that. And, and the town office, if they were here, they would be like, wait, we are too. They right. are too, Wendy is too. Right, well, can we go, can, so can we call highway where it's the wages and that part, can we call it highway and public works? Actually, you could rename the fund. Well, that's what I'm talking about too. Can you highway and public works, yeah, and then put, and I totally agree that the 80,000 position and its benefits belong here in highway. And that, that would, so now the is, very reason that you talked about. Isn't and that, we're going to understand it there later on when you've gotten used to this and you know how much of their time is being spent on them, then you can figure out a, diff, a different option. Well, and when people when understand it generally. So, so are we talking about which line, Denise, are you so thinking? So I'm talking about where it's, where, where it says General Highway. Can we rename that to Highway and Public Works? 187. General Highway and Public Works. Where I just did it? Did you guys yeah. change? Okay. Yeah. Why is it why is it there twice, though? It's always been there twice. <laughs> it's well, a bigger section. Because it, I would put highway in public works, I get rid of general. It marks right. a bigger section. I because underneath say, that we have general mm -hmm. highway, right. and then you've got benefits okay. and some other things, road maintenance or subsections. That under. works. I just want to be clear, okay. because we got so much flack for creating this position because people didn't understand what it was. Right. Yeah. And if we don't make it a little bit more clear in the budget, they're going to say, see, told you. All right, so I'm gonna I'm going to move <coughs> I am going to move the eighty thousand. I'm going to delete line seven, and I'm going to create a new. We're gonna. Write. I'm going to calculate the benefits for both uh, funds and reuse them, and I can give you those numbers when I'm done. Okay, so give you minutes to do that.
And it's not, yeah, and it's not going to change our bottom line. So, uh, Director of Public Works, I'm going to change this to what the, the eighty thousand. Well, and the language to say, what was it called? Grants. Director. Public Works and Grants. Coordinator. Yeah, Grant Administration or something. Grant Administration. What did it say? Can somebody look up, up high? Can you look back up? Yeah. Director of Public Works, Grant Grand coordinator. coordinator. Grant Coordinator, okay. <coughs> okay, so I made 192, say Director of Public Works, Grant Coordinator, and... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to get to work on the other piece here. It's not going to change the bottom line though, right? The bottom line for both funds together, no, it will not change it by a penny. But so, I just need to give you the new allocations for the payroll taxes and benefits for each fund. Yeah. And that's what I'm working on right now. Okay. So, so in the meantime, I'm delete that row. Okay. So let me give you a shout out. So what was our select board budget last year, apples to apples, um, was $44,010. And now it's $43,080. So we have accomplished the goal of making more clear that we didn't just create a big old windfall for the select board. All right, now we just need to find places where we might make some cuts. Now we still have to make cuts. And, and Mark had some ideas, right? Yeah. Well, Mark's working on that. Thank That's you. That's what I've been working on. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I keep them in here and I understand and I'm completely agree with what we've done. Please understand, these are nothing more than suggestions to give you an idea of where we might come up with the kind of thing. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through. So where do you get the seven, reputation of seven. being a slash and burn? Yeah. Mm. Can, we, so, can we have a break? Would people mind a five, five minute, minute break? break? Please. Please. I, before we head into Is that all right for Wendy? Mm -hmm. Wendy, we're gonna take a quick break. I don't oh, break. And I didn't break. Number for the okay, town where it came from. Okay. Yeah. So we applied, we applied the CPI overall. Overall. To yeah. all positions. Yeah. Well, no, not, not no, 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 no. We haven't we applied it to everything. We oh, created okay. a contingency. All oh, right, the contingency. Right, because right. in the yes. and the um, if you look in the highway, there's a contingency fund. That's right. Because we're negotiating with the union, we can't say right. what the increase is going to be, but we can try to think ahead a little bit and just kind of apply that same right. overall amount. Right, so that's where that came from. What I did here, I'm just gonna run so through. So set your context again, we're going back to Mark's ideas for, for cutting. Right, okay. Great. Right. I'm just gonna run through real quick and then okay. take yeah, go ahead. back, okay? I cut legal from 25 to 20. I cut the auditor four. I cut technical, the te I cut out the technical. Wait a minute, Mark, he, he, no, he, 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 he acknowledges He took out the four. He took out the four. The four that we already took yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. The technical, I took out the technical reserve of five. Just cut it. I took out, the, I took the town hall reserve from 10, line 159 or something, from 10 to five. I took the, and that gets me essentially 5, 10, 15, mm -hmm. almost to 20,000, okay. Then, I, there's some more, I don't know if they're kind of sense, I took, cut the lister wages, which we took from 8 to 12 to 10 instead, that's 2. I cut the uh, advertising, which we took way up from 500 to 5,000, said, well, maybe we're not going to spend the whole year doing it. Took it to 3,000, that's another two, so that's 20, 23. 23, something like that. Okay. I just, what I did is I went through every line where I saw a big difference, mm -hmm. and I asked, could we do anything with that? Mm -hmm. And didn't end up, I ended up with 23,000. I agree, advertising so, is, I don't know why okay, we have 5,000. So 5, where would we come up with the rest? <clears throat> the only place <laughs> that I could think of was to say, a huge amount of our increase is the 10-wheeler and the F-600, which we put in the capital budget. And I said, okay, well, what if we borrow some of that? We don't want to do it. In fact, it's the exact opposite of what we want to do, right? We don't want to borrow money. Right. We want to, in fact, put away money 
right? right, right. But we ain't there. So I said, okay, so borrow 50K. Well, well. And, we and so borrow 50K, and that takes you to 73,000, which so, it, my goal was, could we get it down to 6%? From ten to six. Well, ten to six means coming up with sixty thousand bucks. So, do we have a highway reserve fund? Is that what? Yes. No, we, we zeroed it out. I think didn't we? It's well, it's twenty thousand. Um, line. Two forty-four. Well, but what we, we do? But we don't no. have anything in there. We have no. We have no. Zero. We don't have anything in the highway. No, reserve I had no, I had zero in the reserve fund. Mm -hmm. Right, and what we've done, what has happened in previous years, if we have leftover highway money, we would put it into this right. yeah. reserve fund. So, and then right now it's showing that there's twenty thousand in there. Right, mm -hmm. and so it's We're lines, lines two ninety or something, two ninety in the two nineties. Rip. Hang on, hang on. Let's go back. I don't want to lose this point. Um, the cap, the highway capital reserve fund. <clears throat> we budgeted. First, for the first time this year, we budgeted twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. But Denise, you just said there's twenty thousand in it. Those are not the same thing. Well, there will be. They will be. That's it. But, but hang on. If we've rolled money over year over year, extra mm -hmm. leftovers. Whatever the extra, yeah, there should. What be. there is a more than twenty thousand, unless we already spent everything. Yeah, I don't know how much is in there now. Wendy, do you know how much is in the highway reserve fund? I can look it up. Give me a minute. Thank you. Anyway, I was my sh what I was trying to do is get us six percent. Six percent is a four percent reduction on sixty thousand bucks. So I said I have to find sixty thousand bucks. That's one way to find sixty thousand bucks. Well, hopefully our legal fees won't be next year what they have been. Right. I just mm -hmm. remember them being when we talked about the legal fees, we kind of went like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So I said, okay, maybe I'll take five k. Well, I. I yeah, I can't talk about legal fees in open session, but I'm anticipating a continued level for some time until things all settle. And I think that's going to be another year based on current. Um, but, you know, Rick, you had mentioned there was some thought between you and the guys on the highway that maybe we don't need uh, a 10 wheeler all the time. Maybe we should start looking at one well, yeah, we in the fleet the having a, an eight wheeler six, yeah, or a six yeah, wheeler. Six -wheeler, wheeler right? John, I mean, that's what, we should have one, at least one six-wheeler dump truck as in our, in our uh, inventory, because the ten-wheelers are too big sometimes right. for a lot of reasons, for hauling classes, it screws up licenses, and also just basic mobility in yeah. certain places. And the road, and the road, and, and there was a resident, and John should hear this. Yeah. For your time, there was a resident, names aren't important, but they live on a smaller road. Um, and they, when we first started going with 10 wheelers, they raised the specter, the concern that, you know, if you go to bigger trucks, you're going to start uh, using that as, as leverage to widen the roads. And our then road commissioner said, no, that's absolutely not true, as did our operations manager. They're the same with blah, blah, blah. And it was this year, or maybe tail end of last year, that our road commissioner argued that we need to widen roads because we have 10 wheel trucks. Uh, I mean, you can't mm -hmm. make this stuff up. So, um, mm -hmm. but we may want, not, not that that's the reason they were smart, if, if the guys think we don't need if, if we would, it'd be well, helpful yeah. to have a smaller truck in the fleet. The one time you want to let a 10 wheeler is when you get the ice storm. I'm right. saying what? When you get the ice storm, you have to have 10, you can't have a six wheeler. Because you'll, you'll spin. Because you have the extra two axles, extra it's like, four yeah, sets right. of chains. It's like having all And stuff, I can yeah. take you out on the ice if you want to with a six wheeler. <laughs> yeah. And the ten wheelers, the ten wheelers, are so much more positive. That's the only. Oh yeah, the question is I get here. that. The question yeah. is here: Do we want to keep a six wheeler in the inventory? Now that brings the point about your. What do you want to do about your chloride? Right. Well, this is that's so going to be the chloride. I'll be in the six wheeler. So this that is would where. Be. Yeah, and there is an issue. I mean, the, I think the ten wheelers hold. You can haul more sand, so you're less. Tr Less trips back to well, the that could we, the well, that test was the test the test the reason I'm asking this and I'll yeah. and then I'll talk to you. No, but, I want to um, but ask um, you. let me let me just the reason I'm asking that question is we're anticipating buying a ten wheeler. Should we in, 
we could save money if we bought a six-wheeler. Should we be buying a six-wheeler this time? It would save money, it would meet the need that you guys have been thinking about. I mean, I would, what do you, what would you say? To to I, based on what we've seen so far, we've had conversations before, we could switch out that next. I mean, we could do that. In it the says we'll arrive any day we've ordered. It. Well, no, no, this is the trunk. We've, yeah, we've got one that's being fit up right now. And then we've got the one ton that's coming. I'm talking about next. The but next it's trunk. budgeted for 24. But we don't right. have anything budgeted. We have, oh, we don't have anything. We have yeah, we 2023 oh, okay. West Star. I'm at line two, the old budget as it was this afternoon. Line 290 was 42,000. Oh, line sweet. 291 was 30,000. So that's 72,000 bucks. My general impression is that where we have really improved our position is, which I don't think we should cut, is in maintenance and doing all kinds of little things yeah. that you found, you know, over time, we've improved, we're improving the garage, we've got, you know, better equipment, we've got eight grand in there for the dust control portable sprayer, do we really want to go from 45k to 70 for fuel, gas, oil, and diesel? Well, Can we take 5,000 off that. John, let me ask you this question: Dust control, portable sprayer, and tank. We said we would be looking to buy one or maybe build one. You can you guys build one? We can build it. And then, and do you think the cost would be half of 8,000? Like I'm not certain. You'd have to talk to Peter. We still have to outfit it with a tank and a brand new pump and all that. And he would basically be building a frame to hold yeah. all that. Okay. But what about diesel? Do we really? Can we take five or ten thousand bucks off that? Forty-five to seventy. I don't know. I can't. You know, it's a crapshoot on what fuel prices are. Right. And that's a pretty quick. It's all a crapshoot. I guess that still is that's a way up. That's a cons that's a consumable for us that we have to have, right? right. So, yes. Well, so and in FY twenty two, we spent sixty six nine. Well, right. really? Question. Really? Where is that? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess not, Mark. Okay. That's already right. sixty seven thousand. Okay. So anyway, that's why I liked a lot of the raises I that yeah. are in here. I'm just wondering how much can we do? Is there a way we can just say, well, someone is next year or? We're going to borrow some, that's why I thought of borrowing. We borrow some money and then next year we pay it off if we can. Well, can, I, can I, before we go there, can I, there's one consumable I want to ask John about, you know, is sand. Because we've got an excess of sand right now. And we spend about 65000 on sand. Oh, right. I mean, I'm wondering this year if we should take, do you think we should cut that somehow? What would you say we've got? Right now, I think we've got enough sand for next year, too. Real. So do we want to take a, where is that? You know, take yeah. a, well, a mine's 15. Yeah, 65,000. Well, so, in FY22 though, Ricky, we spent 109,000 dollars. We did, but that's, that's because they had the excess. They also, you put the excess in, they've got an excessive amount of sand. And, you know, we're, and, I, and I'm not falling for them, for that being done, mainly because with these weather changes, you don't know what it can There spend. was a year when he was super worried about sand. Yeah, that, because that we were of running out of sand. Can, and we, ice. can you guys not do that, please? Well, but my, but the question would be, I mean, if we can cut this back this year, that could help us. So, so if, if we... I think cut. Alfie, Alfie got that much sand this year because he's worried about the, yeah. the right. sand pit closing, and then we'd have to haul right. from further right. away. Mm. Well, so, so if we, so... Yeah, he, and he was worried about running out of sand, period. So could we cut that down to like half? 35. Cut it in half or something. But do you think that would be reasonable? Which line are you on, Denise? We're on sand. Two. Sand, which is, which so is 215. 215. Thank what you. pit did we get that sand from most of from? Is that the South Barry one? No, it's the shop. McCall. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Really? 35? That's why he, okay. he had to do that to get. He had to buy that much to get that price. And what about okay? What about gravel? Gravel we need. That's right now. I think gravel is going to be astronomical because we're already in a mud season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, roadside mowing. We need to do some repairs, so we put in five thousand. Not knowing how much that was going to cost, right? In in that. So Wendy, have you come up with a number for what we already have in the capital fund for highway? Yep, I've got those. Just been waiting for a break.
Yep, let me go back. Highway currently has $20,544. You'll be moving another twenty k into it, budgeted under 2023. Mm -hmm. so that's in your um, that's in your, your budget. So that would be a little over $40,000. Um, <clears throat> a possibility would be you've got that Ford F1, F601 ton to be delivered very shortly. You could pay for that out of the highway fund. I mean, and then it would bring it down quite a bit to only ten thousand. How much is the highway fund? What was that balance? Forty thousand. Highway equipment fund currently has twenty thousand five hundred forty-four dollars. Forty thousand. Well, that's twenty thousand that will be transferred to it when I get into the office and do those transfers. So during this fiscal year, you have forty thousand five hundred forty-four dollars in that fund. Well, forty thousand, but that truck's uh, like one hundred forty to fit up that one time. Why do we have it? Um, we have it. How much is that truck? It's something. It will be something like 140 because of it's got a plow frame, you know, on it. Uh, we have it as a budget for 40. Okay. So what is the 30,000 dollar budget all about? And you're talking the 10 dollar. Uh, that, that was the that was an annual. We're talking. Um, about I think on the assumption that we would borrow for it. Oh, right. I mean, borrow it. That was the. That was yeah. the. Okay. That was so that the, would be the loan or the lease, uh, capital lease on or, or whatever it is. I see. So right. So that's just the lease. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's there's just the pot there. shot we put in. Yeah, right. for what the yeah. lease. We don't have the lease. Okay. Some of your some of your other ideas. Can we go back to? I didn't write them all down. Yeah, yeah go go out. go from the top. Okay, from the top. I took line. My problem is this. I just have the original budget. Yeah. That's, That's all right. Close. It gets them like close, close enough. Yeah. About 13, legal 25. I cut it down to 20. Okay, so let's add, let's talk to each other about cutting our legal budget. So we've had, we're up to 30, we're probably at 35,000 or more by now. Yeah. Um, John is telling us that for the reasons it's high this year, he anticipates it will continue to be high. Mm -hmm. Um, well, higher than a flat yeah. year. <laughs> higher, higher than years when we don't have legal issues right. that we're dealing and, with. And understand, we are Nothing. halfway through this year, we're at 35, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of lifting to get this we judge's order implemented. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that's going to, let's say it's a lot of lifting, and it's going to probably be another 20 on top of that. So I, I expect 55, and, I, and this is November. Mm -hmm. About sixty grand, uh, right? This fiscal year, um, I think twenty five is m probably, unfortunately, not even enough. Might well, be hopefully, we resolve everything within this fiscal year, um, but we're going to be short. It's going to be we're going to be in a red, and we mm -hmm. need to pick up some of that red next fiscal year. We can take out select for stipends. Yep, I've said mm -hmm. that year after year, folks. I won't be mm -hmm. here. Take it whatever out. you want. Just, um, just I, I always was against it because I feel like five hundred dollars for someone who does the amount of work we do. Um, I know, but and it, you know it impacts people's. You know, impacts my my finances working on this select board. That's why. That's an, another yes. reason I'm not running again. Let's it is, put it in, let's costs just, me a lot of money. Let's just zero it out. And okay, so that's you can zero it. It doesn't affect zero. me. Okay. It, I mean, it does. It affected my business, as you guys have all heard me yeah. say. But five hundred dollars doesn't yeah. make it up. Yeah. Exactly. No, but it's yeah. at least something. And I don't. Keep, and I don't keep a tally of how much time I spend. Okay, right. so no, that's twenty five hundred bucks gone. Well, just, just take out the whole stipend. Thing. I just put, put it, it down to zero. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, but what was it at? Was that seven thousand or some? Was that seven thousand? Seven thousand. Yeah. Which was. And also, we can. That helps the way the optics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. So that takes us seven. We're not going to take legal down. No. But we zero ourselves up. That's seven. Okay. Zero out. Like um, our recording secretary wages. We want to leave in. Yes. Back up here at select board. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at. Yeah. 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 No, we want to leave that. Look at differences. Okay. So what else? Was, what other things were you talking about? Okay, the next one is going to be auditors for. Yeah. Can, can I ask a question? We have 2,400 
in webmaster we right, pay that's the stipend i know <coughs> we're, only, we're only paying one person right now we are but jamie i think has found somebody to be an assistant but why would we i mean it's not much money but we're not going to pay two people the same are we we have i mean she hasn't even brought it to the select board yet this person so we'd have to figure that out, even if we just paid $100 a month, that's $1,200. Oh, no, you know what, never mind. I was just doing the same math you did the other day, and never mind. <laughs> this is what the number we right. need. Okay, just to do what we're All doing. All right, so child treasurer, that's set. Delinquent tax collector, that's set. What were your other things, Mark? Check reserve. I took it out. Just took it, just took it out? Yep. I just zeroed it. I mean, I don't So this year. Yeah, for this year. Yeah. Okay, and wait a minute. But you said something about Lister wages. Uh, he didn't. He's not there. I yet. took the Lister what? wages from twelve down to ten. Mark, what's the line of tech reserve? Okay, we're not there. Yeah, that's down. Further. That that's down further. Yeah. It's below Lister's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lister's reserve. What's line forty six for me? is okay. probably forty four or forty five or something. 40. Okay. So, so I and I have an idea under PC. Well, PC reserve isn't even in here. Because it hasn't been voted on. So you took listers from 12 to 10? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Well, okay. hang on. Um, they want an increase, don't forget, an hourly increase. They want an increase. Jan is not running again. Right. Mm -hmm. We're, has anybody said that they are going to run? She's the only one. Oh, for that position? I haven't heard. I, I, when it comes to, I mean, we've, Three people. Mm -hmm. We had them at eight, and now no, we had them at twenty. <coughs> we had them at eight. Twenty, twenty. I mean, I'm twenty per hour. Twenty, 20 an hour, eight thousand dollars. Right, but we are already packed into the eight. Yeah, and it's and we've got a couple of big years coming up for the listeners. We right, do. the reappraisal. Yeah. yeah, I, I'm. I mean, that wasn't a willy nilly. We talked about that number. Right. Okay. We got a lot. Which, by the way, um, Mr. Representative, I think because it's every pretty much across the board, every town needs to do a reappraisal. I think yeah. this, a, a legislature thing. needs to do okay. something and just come up with a formulary and just apply a percentage and save and us, save us this pain and the money. It's ridiculous. It's insanity. Just apply the increase. Down. We know they they do it every time, everywhere, all the time. Just if if we were if we were outside of parity that's what they do anyway I just apply a percentage came across my desk was one legislator forward a, an email saying this is a hundred i don't know how many towns are suddenly in trouble right yeah. and, and sure. the answer that came yeah. from whomever gov ops or whatever it was we got to do something about this yeah they have to okay. this is insane whether they do the right thing and that'll save right. us money yeah. okay right. cut it no <laughs> just kidding <laughs> What? You said whether they do the right thing. Yeah, whether the Dove Rocks Committee does oh, the right thing. Oh, I should have the day. Okay, so for now we're just leaving. Yeah, but I could have said they. For now we're leaving the listers as we okay. will. Right. At 12, right? Okay. Advertising. I was thinking, well, maybe. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So where is, okay, so we got to scroll down. We're not making, you don't have anything under elections because we can't do a lot about that. We did debate that whether it would be as cost as much to advertise as we thought. Do you remember? No, yeah. you're on. That you're was on elections. General, you're on just, general office advertising. Well, elections. You just mentioned elections, where we budgeted in the last. But we cut it down to fifteen. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, I mean we don't have a budget. We don't no, have an election. No, 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 right. Okay. Okay. All so right. so now you're down to advertising. And we had budgeted five. Line, please. Advertising. 75. 75. 78. Got it. I had 78. Got it. Probably 76. Five. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just thought 500 to 5,000. Well, I know why. Right. We had a huge budget right. because of these positions. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But I was thinking, well, supposing that we were a little lucky and it didn't last all year, where we still spent another whole year like this last one. So we I did. said, I only cut it 2,000. From five thousand to three. three. Yeah, 000. that's fine. That's yeah, that fine. I think that, good. that works. It is. We're still gonna. The bottom line is, when we're when we need to hire, yeah. we're still gonna. Well, we have to advertise. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and then 
91, which would be 988 tech reserve. Oh, yeah, I see. I just said, well, okay, not this year. So nothing? Zero. Well, you know, the problem is I was trying to come up. We got to find it. We have to find money. We have to find it. Well, so, so we already cut it down we did. To, to from 8 to 5. What um, if we put in 2,500? Just to put that something in Just to have something going But on. we have 20K already in there, right? Yeah, but if we... But we got we messed up before by not having That's enough not money. a lot. Yeah, and we had, remember we had to take out a, a, a loan or something? To buy new yeah. servers? Yeah. And when... There was a there's a shelf life on those servers. Where what did Cliff tell us? Five, eight Five years. years. Five, yeah. Eight, yeah. I mean, we we're gonna. I think but we'll but in. folks, remember if we get the high speed internet, we may be able to dump in the cloud. Cloud. I might cloud. be talking through my hat. I'm not an IT guy, but if we You're... could continually rely on the cloud, we're paying for cloud space anyway. Yeah. We might have to up that, but it might save us a lot of the panic. You know, if the server goes down, well, it's up in the cloud anyway. It's not. You know, I mean, this whole panic, it could break. Panic. A lot of businesses don't have on site servers anymore. Yeah. Right. No, we don't. So, I don't think that's imprudent, being that we already have 20K. In okay, so, we've, so we're so we cutting it from five to 2,500. Mm -hmm. Done. And what about the town office building <laughs> reserve fund? There's 51, almost 52,000 in there. What if we just didn't put any in this year? I don't like that in, in that kind of building reserve. There's bite you later. But right. Well, then you, cut it cut it in half. We could do that if you want to. Or just put in two thousand and save twenty five hundred, so that we're being consistent by putting something in every yep. year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you, Denise. Okay. I mean okay. that. Two thousand, and I'll leave my note about one percent. <laughs> right. Even though. Okay. Right. So I mean that's the goal. If right. we're building it, even if we have to borrow money later, you know, obviously. No, it's okay to borrow We'll just have, have you do the work for free. Good, good tell me, yeah. 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 Here, I don't even know what to do with this line. What, line what are you looking 43 at? for me, which would be 139 for you. Invasives. Oh, well, that's, that's the Conservation Commission. It went from zero to 15,000. That's a lot of money. Well, I mean, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go back up to Planning Commission Reserve Fund. Okay. That will be on the warning, and maybe we don't do five thousand. Maybe we do twenty five hundred. Okay. You know this thing with Marcus. Marcus is amazing at finding grant monies. Who? Marcus Bradley, Darby's son, yeah. is the forester that um, the Conservation Commission is is oh, right, in right. conversation with. Red, He's Red, Red Star. Uh, He's yeah. my forester. He Marcus. is. He knows where all the monies are. NRCS, he's <coughs> it's amazing, yeah. and and maybe uh, the conservation commission could do their own little due diligence and contact NRCS. They have invasives funding all the time right now for farms. Really, farms for farms. Right. But I don't know if there's a program out there just you generally because invasives don't respect property rights. Wait, lines. I want to go back. I can answer that question. Oh. Go. NRCS is to serve producers. Is what? It's to serve producers. It's another place in USDA, but not there for municipalities. Yeah. Might okay. be RD instead. Who is that? Might be Rural Development. Oh, Rural Development. Under the of USDA. Okay. Okay, so... But NRCS is, is, um, is really set up to serve producers. Okay. So can we go back to, so Planning Commission Reserve Fund, did we cut it to 2,000? Yeah. Well, why are questions well, no, we have, no, 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 we, 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 had, we, we jumped, jumped ahead. ahead. Yeah, we jumped ahead without making that cut. Right. So, the um, question is, is that there for the Lake Town Plan? Yeah, they asked, they asked <coughs> for a reserve fund to be established, and they asked, I don't have, I don't remember the, con the full content of the email, but they asked for a reserve fund to be established and for $5,000 to be put in, in year one. Um, and that, and that is so that they can maybe hire somebody to help them with the town plan. With the town plan. But we've, we've, we've put in 5000 this year, which I don't think they're going to spend. We put that's in... That's a reserve fund that's down here. No, but we... 
Yeah, we did. Well, well yeah. when they were looking to hire a, a PC oh, assistant, assistant. I see. so it's and they've never done that, so they changed it to a reserve fund because if it's in the budget and it's approved and they don't spend it, it just goes back. Right. So if we changed it to a reserve fund and put money in there, it would stay there. Right. So if we put in twenty five hundred instead of five thousand, at least there's something and it won't won't get sucked up. Okay, so that I wasn't sure if that was dedicated to like a like the town plan because there is expense that goes with that. We pay, we have to pay. Right, and that's what this is. Okay. 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 All right. Um, so so put it at twenty five hundred. Nine five. We're now at nineteen five. Twenty thousand five hundred so far. We've saved. And the conservation commission has had no luck getting a <coughs> recording secretary. They've been divvying up the minutes as everybody else does. Um, I mean, it's only six hundred dollars. Yeah, it doesn't get us much, and no. we're going to leave our own. <coughs> um, invasive species control. I mean, for all that we do talking with you know the in uh, in various contexts about invasive species and our put our money where our mouth is yeah put our money where our mouth but is can we change it to like 12 or 10 yeah, well, what i'm wondering though is if we have a good if we have the public works department that we want to have and the road crew that we've got and we have a public works director doing their job. Is an invasive species control going to be part of that? It's job? not control. No. It's, it, it's it's what this is for in in an inventory. So so maybe invasive species I think control. Say, is, no, it should say inventory, not control. Y yeah, I was just going to take that. I just <coughs> take that. Um, and I think what we learned is. We don't have a lot of money in the conservation fund right now. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes, no, there, I think it got no, it, it got it got burnt yeah. when we up. when we did the Armstrong farm. But Wendy, how much is in conservation fund right now? Thirty thousand, and the transfer has yet to be made for fiscal year twenty three, which is another five. And uh, actually, I think it'll bring it up to thirty. Has um, it'll bring it up to 38. I thought I told you guys. So right. So with the transfer in, so we're looking at 38. 000. And I know you know the conservation commission would like us to do even more. Um, and they probably they won't be happy if we cut how much we're putting in there. But if we're cutting other things, I just <laughs> if we put five thousand. Let me correct that they have um, They have what? They have a balance of thirty four and I haven't made the uh, and then it's what what is it, five thousand? Yeah. So they'll have thirty nine thousand this year. Okay. So if we give them five thousand as we have for the past two and maybe more preceding years, mm -hmm. um, then they'll be up to thirty nine. And some of the you No, know, they're already gonna they're already gonna be at thirty nine. Right, they're at yeah, they're, 44, They'll be at forty-four, and then they've got some money to help with invasive species inventory. Right, there's nothing that prohibits that reserve fund from being used for that. So what if we cut? No, the conservation fund has a very specific guideline of what right. it can be used for. And, and I'm going to lobby uh, against this. Against which? Against cutting funding to conservation fund. I think by virtue of the massive inflation on real estate, we already. I've suddenly seen a cut in the value of that fund. That fund already can't do shit. I mean, if we were in a better year, right, um, I would want to see an increase to the conservation fund. I mean, ideally, we'd be. Um, but, then, but, we, but the 8,000 is an increase. So. Oh, oh, you're going to increase? No, but the no, fund? no, no. That's because because we're, we're, at eight, we're at eight. We're at eight. They would eight. ideally, I, I think they originally wanted like us to do 10,000 every yeah. year, and we just couldn't. Yeah. I mean, if there's something that comes on the market because of all of this inflation, and <coughs> there's not going to be enough money in the fund to help with the town's share. I know, that's what and I'm it, saying. And it really we really depleted the fund when we well, did the Armstrong farm. Right. Does that mean to be really nasty here? 
does that mean that the fund is worthless? So like, we shouldn't contribute at all. I mean, basically, it's not going to no. help. No, no, I'm not going to take it that. Always, we, you know, we might beg and plead the housing conservation. <laughs> The, but they'll always be a local share. Well, they want to see a local share. Yeah, they want right. to see a commitment. So yeah, and Vermont to, Land Trust always wants them. If there's, if they're doing it, they want to. Right. Well, they, 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 they use the housing conservation right. fund money. So. But we always have to have, have a formulary. Right. Okay. So are you proposing reducing that to eight five, and you're reducing your opposing? I don't want to see anything any reduction in funding to that fund. But well, but, but that's just on, me. But hang on. When you talk about reduction. For the past two years, we've budgeted a five thousand dollar contribution. No, I'm okay with eight. I, I thought you were talking originally about cutting it. Below. Yeah, that's what we proposed. Uh, well, we eight was what we had in there before we had our bottom line. Right. So now, so when you say cut, does that mean you are okay with going to five and, and level funding as we have over previous years? No, I want to see the eight. But, you want to stay eight. Okay. But that's well, just me. That's just me. I, I'm I'm very concerned. I, I know there are some properties they're looking at right now, and uh, just in the year since they've been thinking about it, and it's just been conversation, that's it. Those properties have gone up markedly in value. Well, let's leave it at eight and just keep, well, let's, we might have to take another, go another, through this another round. Okay. What, maybe reduce the inventory money to 12 instead of 15? That's a little bit. Where? Line, maybe yeah. one forty, yeah. one forty. Okay. Invasive species inventory. Yeah. I mean, that seems like a reasonable place to, because mm -hmm. we have no clue how much this is going to cost. Mm -hmm. Not a clue. And that's what the conservation commission was supposed to be finding out, and we don't still don't know. I have, so, I have an idea. Is that something that ARPA funds could pay for if we took out the twelve thousand entirely? I would have to find out. Um, is I that think the best it's, use it's a, of the ARPA funding? It's a one-time expense. It's a one-time expense. It's something we haven't normally budgeted for. Well, I've got to call Bonnie tomorrow to ask her about these other items, and I, I'm, I will ask her. If any of your general fund expenses can be used for ARPA? Say what? ARPA rules changed right. last about 10 months ago. Right. Where you are, if, if you you are able to use the ARPA money for any of your your general, basically a general you know general government expenditures except pensions and debt service. So, so, so let's apply the fifteen thousand to the invasion. That's a perfect. Oh, that's a that's a perfect use. ARPA. That's perfect. If that's a per does everybody agree that's yeah. a perfect yeah. use of ARPA? Okay, so then we can take the fifteen thousand out and just Period. use it for ARPA. Because, mm -hmm. um, according to my little chart here. Depending on what we do with some of the other money. We have money there. We have a little okay, bit left. So we are now at 35. And then that gives you time to wait and get the actual cost from the uh, Right. So we need another 25,000. Excellent. All right. Uh, I feel like, I, er, last year I said this too, that movie American President. So no, wait, where, did you? Where everyone sits around the table, the cabinet, he has the cabinet and they have to pitch did in. You, do we take the this? child care or something? Do we take the money out of the sand yet? We have 65 in there. <laughs> no. Or oh, right. right. No, no we, we haven't got that. We haven't got that far. So we can. Oh, well, we haven't got that far. So I let's thought just do this the one. sand was very well. That might get us there. That will get it. That's thirty thousand. We take thirty thousand a year now at sixty thousand bucks. Hang on, but no, let's look at everything. Yeah, right. right. Because we, we don't want to do things that don't make any sense just okay. because we found money. Well, one thing, if we can do it. If we can avoid, I mean, I know John. We'd like to start replenishing gravel on these roads. So, if we would I like to increase gravel, and then if we shift possible, some of the savings to gravel, if we can, let's see how we do here. Yeah, this might not be the year for it, just right. because of the. So, town. Okay. I'm on town hall. Is everybody yeah, that's with where me? I'm at. Okay, so under town hall, yeah. we don't think there's anything we can. We don't want to change the reserve fund. No, because that's almost mm -hmm. out of money. No, wait a minute. How much is in the town hall reserve fund, Wendy? Five thousand dollars. Ooh. Okay. How yeah. Much? So we, yeah. Well, we're, yeah. we're going to be adding six because that's what budget is for twenty three. So it'll be eleven. Right. And then if you stick with your budget of ten, next year you'll have um, twenty one thousand. Right, because remember, we just used money out of the reserve fund, Mark, over here. We used money that was in the reserve fund to pay for 
right. the shutters, shutters, and that was almost eleven thousand. Okay, but I we could we, cut it to six or something. Of that I mean, we, I mean, that was sort of the remainder of a capital expense that was left over. The thing you have to remember when you're in budget cutting, which is obnoxious, is compared to what? It's always compared to what? Right. And so if you don't cut it here, you're going to cut it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what if we right. put the town hall reserve fund at eight instead of ten? That saves us another two. Um, this ultimately means borrowing later if you, you know, the way you look at it. I know, but you can't, you have to. I get it, I'm, I get it. I'm I don't know what else just, to do. I know, you, yeah, it's kind of like sure. the same thing when you're feeling like you're Well, budget. let's go, I would say, let's go back to Sam for a minute. What I'm hearing you say, <coughs> and then cycle back here for a minute. But if you go to Sam, where is that? Under highway. Highway, yeah. Hang on, can we can we get there though? Let's just yeah, let's, so, instead of jumping around. Yeah. Right. So we're leaving. So we're leaving. Um, mm. For now, we're leaving the town hall building reserve at ten thousand, right. which you know we have ignored the one percent for I think the past two, if not three years. Yeah. And we have spent that money down. So um, we're we're you know we're in. Keeping our virtue here, all right. Well, but also, Mark, we are in spitting distance of not actually like the the shutters were more than five thousand, right? It 11. was ten thousand, right. almost eleven. So what's going to be in that fund is only enough to pay for another piece of project. You know, the fund is is not. It never had time to get big, right? And it needs that time. We right. used the fund for original capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the renovations. Yeah. So. Insurance, there's nothing we can do about that. Long term no. debt, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, so now we're down. Okay, now I'm with you, Mark. And we, we apportioned way. an amount for the condemn in that number of insurance. There's another thousand. In there, there is, there's an assumption there. Okay. I don't know, I can't. Okay. Um, no, they said it, would be it should just be six months. But anyway, that's not This is not significant. Well, that, I think a thousand is six months. I think they said it was two thousand okay. a year in debt. Right. Let me see. Two thousand a month? No, a year. year. No, For the million dollars? The million dollars. Mm -hmm. Building and liability. So that's other things, though. Mm -hmm. It's not just Curtis Pond Dam in that line 161. Okay, so now we're under highway. Um, we want to make sure we have money for Dana, which is the temporary. What is, what is temporary is Dana. Can I, can I ask a question before you move on to highway? Yeah. yeah. Um, under. Um, Cemetery. Yeah, we can't. We, don't, we, don't have, we can't do anything about cemetery. I've asked and asked what their budget okay, is. Okay, just wanted to make sure the numbers were right. It's um, it looks like um, oh, this is way down at the end. It looks like they've asked for forty-two and twenty. Is that correct? Can we can we wait till we get there and do highway? Yep. Yeah, okay. and, and yeah, when I, I'm sorry, I thought I thought it was the general, but it's the end of the <coughs> Yeah, okay, so highway, um, all right, so I don't think there's anything under highway general. We've already looked at this. Right. So now I have the update for you on the payroll expenses after we're done with all that. All right, so now we have road maintenance, and we have sand, yeah, we already cut sand wait, wait, 35. What is road, what does temporary mean? That's Dana Hoppy. It's a temporary. It's, it's, a, it's a temporary employee. Okay. Yeah. And the question, the question is there. Do we, you know, we have trouble with you know exceeding our hours with the, our temporary. It's on our plow. You know, do we, do we actually build a little con a contingency in for a, an as needed temp for to get us through if we're on these heavy plow times or if. You know, ideally, we'd like to do this. You know, I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can do it this year. Well, but this really improves our flexibility. We budgeted thirty thousand last year. This year, we cut it to twenty-four. It, I mean, the name. Mm -hmm. 
a contingency. <coughs> we don't need a different line. This right. is the temporary line. This is for the temporary employees. What are we at? I'm, I'm talking about a second temp employee. Right. right. Can you right. So you're, but you're, you're, you're moving us in the wrong direction. I know I am. I'm just bringing it to us. Just right. trying to. What is the director of public works? What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Mark. Look, look, look. Is that still there? It's an, it's a, it's an artifact. No, no it's we, not. Moved, we, we moved, moved it, it back. We while, moved you, it back. while you were cutting the budget, got it. Okay. we moved yeah, it back. Right. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. Nice try, Mark. <laughs> All right, now what about... Oh, just a clarification. The insurance cost for the C. Curtis Pond Dam is estimated at $670 per annum. So okay. that's what we're talking about. So $300 okay. bucks for next year. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so sand, we already cut it to 35 We did. Do you know, it, how are we, John, on the crack ceiling? We did. Are we good? I right. That contract. That contract work, but I mean, yeah. that's, like, we have a okay, 17,000 so budgeted in that. Because we, that's what we want to do, yeah, because that preserves yeah. the statement. Right, but we have somebody else do that. I know, but we have to pay for it. It's right, a so contract, I think we leave so. it, I think we leave it 17. Well, the question is, is it, it um, don't necessarily do it every year. It'd be every other year, but I just don't know if that was cycled through. Ooh, that's dangerous. Okay. Okay. Leave it. Yeah. We'll so leave it. I'm at. So Wendy, right. um, if you've been keeping right. up with us, I'm Pain curious where your numbers are. Where I, or whatever our. Two nineteen. So what I have is our total budgeted general mm -hmm. government and highway is one. Point five. In other words, one million. I have I have not been keeping up because I wasn't sure the conversation were definite. Okay, so what I have is one million five hundred seventy-one thousand four hundred fifty-six dollars and thirty cents. With what all the cuts we've been talking about. Okay, what what did you say, Mark? Share. It's one million five hundred seventy-one four fifty-six thirty. Yeah. It's up from. So I have it. So Sarah, could you repeat that number again? I have one million five seventy one four fifty six and thirty cents. That's I have us at, at we've so far saved about fifty thousand bucks. So that's about right. That's pretty. I mean, that's so a good the lot. question is because I had before I didn't add any changes yet, and I've got five one million five seventy one. That's it. No, no, I got one million, I'm sorry, one million five 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 oh four oh. It should have gone. She hasn't had any chance. Yeah. Right? Huh? So that doesn't make sense. Well, what we'll have to do is we're meeting, you know what, we're meeting tomorrow night. It's almost 10 o'clock, according to the clocks here. And everybody's brain is going to start to turn to mush. So, you know, I don't know how long the Curtis Pond Dam thing will go, but we may. And we've already done the agenda, but it doesn't mean we couldn't start. No, no, you can keep going. You know what? We'll I'm going to have Sharon send me her copy because she, you're the one keeping track of it, right, Sharon? Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. Sharon, yeah. She send me your copy, and I've already put, I've already calculated the, the benefits of having moved the 80 to highway, so I, I can put that in, what and if, I'll follow along with your changes, and I'll implement them. What I can do that tomorrow morning. And, um, and get them all back out to you. Okay, what I'm suggesting is that if we could start at six tomorrow instead of seven, mm -hmm. to have an hour to talk about I can do that. budget. Yeah, yeah I can just continue yeah. this. Idea. We'll continue this meeting to 6 p.m. And if Wendy could be, yeah. Wendy, can you be available tomorrow at six? Yeah. Wendy, well, we were supposed to get this to the designer by end of business tomorrow. I know, well, we're doing our we're doing our very very best as you know, mm -hmm. um, and I've got Barbara's list, and we're going to be a few hours. It'll late. still get to her first thing on Wednesday morning. Right. Paper. Do we? Yeah. Um, I mean, how are we? I more than your money. So let me. Can I say something a different way, Mark? I don't remember, and I because I I yeah I lost it because I was working in real time in the real spreadsheet, but what I'm showing now is that we're 7% over yeah, that's about right. the previous year. Yeah, about, I mean, Seven. what I had is, I, 
I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cuts, which is which so, is significant. Yeah, yeah. Shall I list them or not? <coughs> yeah. And Mark, if you can list those, I can I I can type and keep up with you. I think pretty much so that I've got it. Okay. Well, okay. here here's here's one more validation. I do have in the notes below under Wendy's math around what that means for taxes, our old numbers had 84 cents per hundred dollar, 84 cents per $100 of value. Tax rate. Wow. And then the total when we added in the local agreement bed exemptions was 85. Now we're down to 80 and 82. 81 okay. five over yeah. 75 okay. 76 this year so so we're going to run through them quickly just so i can confirm what i heard okay. i didn't write them down because i just didn't think you guys okay. read and i think i'm going to check for the change was okay. legal fees are now 20. is that not correct we didn't change legal fees no okay no. okay all right, so we zero towards defense. Okay, here we go. We eliminated select we one stipend. We zeroed out stipends for seven, about seven kids. Gotcha. We did all the stuff that you talked about and we reduced the auditor cost by four. Yep. Advertising, we cut two. Cut it two, two. Advertising is down in town office expenses. Right, but you got to say cut it. cut two off. Okay, so yeah. the total being three then. Yeah. We are te technological. Wait a minute, Wendy has a question. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what is your advertising now? 3,000. Yep. Okay. It will be three after the cut. Right, that's what she's asking. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, give, her the, give her the bottom line the number. The new amount in there, Mark. Okay, I don't have that. I have the bottom line number. Mark. Technical, uh, the tech reserve, we cut 2,500 bucks off to leave it at okay. 2,500. 2,500. Yep, got it. Building reserve, we cut twenty five hundred off to leave it at two thousand. Two thousand. Got it. Uh, planning commission reserve, we cut twenty five hundred off to leave it at twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Uh, we cut cut out the invasives. Hopefully, out of conservation commission, out of conservation out. commission entirely, we zeroed that out because we're going to use our, our funds. funds. We okay, cut. We know our funds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 And sand, we have thirty. Thirty-five. What? Thirty-five for sand. Thirty-five and left. And is thirty-five thousand. No, we're then changing. We cut thirty. We cut thirty. We cut thirty. Balance, yeah. So it'll be thirty-five. Thirty-five left. Yeah. 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 So, so thirty-five is the new budget number for. Yes. Me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay. So what that means is I have combined for before we get to the board article, I got one million four hundred ninety-three thousand four hundred ten dollars and fifty-six cents. And the tax rate um, and for uh, and with the budgeted uh, board articles, it's one point eight nine seven million. And it looks like you have only a slight increase on your tax rate. Wendy, I got one point five where you said one point four. Yeah, huh. one point five seven one, right? Hmm. Four. Well, remember the eighty thousand moved from general fund to highway. Well, well yeah, yeah, but the bottom line, but the bottom line tax rate is going to be the same. Yeah, so I'll have to look at yours. I mean, I see, I, I haven't been deleting anything. So here's what I think I we should. Here's what I think we should do. I think Sharon should send you and the rest of the board the document we've been working on tonight. I will send you the warning that shows the various social services groups. We should meet here tomorrow at 6 and have everybody hopefully had an opportunity to look at the documents. So I want to amend what Denise just said. I'm not going to send it to everybody. It is in the it's folder. Since it's been been folder. adjusted it's in the live. Okay. It's all the changes Sharon made are live changes. Yes, They've Jane. already been made. But it does, but it needs to go so Wendy me. will look at that and do it side by side. Yep, Wendy, I will send you an email so what you are working from is offline. Um, right? Yeah. And we don't we don't have to get we don't have to talk about the warning tonight because the warning 
doesn't need to be done. It has to be signed by January 23rd. So we've got time even... Um, I've worked on my stuff. I'm pretty close. Well... No, you worked on the report. You worked on the report. Oh, oh. I worked sorry. on the report. No, I okay. didn't get very far, but I started. Which is, I started mine as a separate document, and I'll add it in. Okay. Well begun is half done. Huh? Well, yeah. the gun is half done. Remember that? Yeah. Does everybody remember that quote? No. no. Your father told you that, right? No, it's Mary Poppins. You're welcome. Oh. Well, a spoonful of sugar? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Send that to me, and I'll work on it tomorrow morning. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Wendy. Sounds good, Wendy. Okay. Thank, thank you. Wendy, you're wonderful. Love thank you. you. Wendy. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk later. We'll talk tomorrow. Okay. That'd be great. Thank you. Bye, Wendy. All right.